Listen up, Kitlings. Be careful. Be very, very careful. You have been warned. The real world. It takes all you've got. I've been there. You are in the first. The dream world. Your place. Your proper place. Consider this a dream. It may be easier that way. And that soon, you will awake. Bert is for the few, not the herd. Dangerous to the innocent, that's you and your complaint. wants you. The only way out is to finish the game. Be careful. Be very, very careful. I don't know about that. We're live. Panic. Oh, Panic. Okay. Use us. Use me. There is no multi-stream uh, point of view, Rakova, because it's just... All the same, so there's no point. Uh, Just webcams. No backstory, but, uh, and you guys always have both have good written backstory, but basically I'm just that's, that's, that's <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. I just saw yours, and I was like, wait, you don't have anything there. <laughs> I have Sorry. one sentence on the other character sheet. Sorry. So. so, welcome to a one-shot of the game, Avert, which is, if you don't know what Avert is, which is the likely case, it is a cyberpunk world set in Manchester. Strange, I know. Using the Cypher system, same as Numenera of Strange, etc. And uh, basically everyone in the world is addicted to drugs called Feathers. Could be worse, I suppose. But, um, yeah. This is just first session. We might maybe do more in the future, but we're just going to see how it goes today. So, let's introduce all the players and their characters. So we can start with Tegan. Oh, I didn't want to go first. Okay, I'm Tegan. And do you want me to introduce my character at the same time? Introduce yourself and your character. Uh, okay, I'm Tegan. I go by Tegank on stream. Uh, that's all to say, really. Um, my character I'm playing is... She goes by the username Alice, but that's not her real name. That's just her on-screen name, but no one really knows her real name except for her, and it probably won't come out, so it's fine. She is a competitive esports player of the game Wonderland, and she plays a character called Alicia in that game, and that's why her username is Alice, because she mains that character and became the best. Uh, she's also quite high profile. She is famous in the esports scene, but she also has since been a voice actress and had fair various other roles. Um, and she has a large backstory, but the main thing is that she's a shadow man, math magician who is idolized. Yeah, you're not gonna read out the name of the game, but the amazing name of the game. Oh, the, the amazing name of the game that she also plays. Oh, the, her voice role, Feathers of the Storm, a competitive MOBA. Uh, just... And the character is Luna Luna. <laughs> and she's a ranged assassin who uses feather attacks. Original AF. Okay. okay. Shall we do connections at the end? Yeah, we can do or connections at the end. Dennis. Um, I am Dennis, and I am playing Philip Marley, who is a, a detective. Um, he's kind of like a hard-boiled detective, but he's also a dog shadow. So he's like part dog, part 
corpse hard person um, and he was a cop he failed at being a cop um, he started his own detective firm that you know was a financial um, cash reform so now he's a lot of money super quickly because he's in a lot of debt so he's a shadow man dog explorer who scraps like a scally so he like you know explorer is the detective part and scraps like a scally is he beats people up a bit um, I think that's all there is to say about him hmm. alright and Carlo uh, there's Carlo Bear playing as Just Steve um, the character is Just Steve and he's a uh... Not addicted, but more of a connoisseur to drugs. That's exactly. Pretty much it. Okay, so what? How do you all look? Like, what do your characters wear? Vegan. Okay. Uh, my character is always seen with a headset on. I guess like this one, but with a microphone. Um, she is wearing a loose gaming shirt of Feathers of the Storm, her favourite, well, the game she voice acts for. Um, she's usually seen wearing a leather jacket and some ripped black jeans, and she wears pretty chunky Doc Martin-esque boots, but I don't know if they exist in this world, so that sort of thing. Um, and she's usually carrying random bits of gaming equipment, but they're not really. They're more of mementos to what she likes playing. You just playing, carry around really a, like a random keyboard. <laughs> well, no, no, like a... <laughs> I mean, she might be carrying it in like a backpack or something, but she has like, I don't know, like the equivalent of a Nintendo DS or something that she carries around just to play with. Yeah. Okay. Dennis? Um, Philip Marley, he's like, if you ever watch like a Disney movie where like the dogs are people, he just looks like that. Like he looks like a dog who walks upright. Um, the, like the shadow part is just that sometimes smoke comes out of him, um, but it's not especially noticeable. I'd say if he was a breed of dog, he'd probably be like, what are those brown dogs with the very like floppy, um, you know, front parts on their nose? Bastard. Floppy front parts. Mm, yeah, you know, like they have like goofy skin. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But I don't know what. Oh, is. um, yeah, for like fox in the hand, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like one of those dogs. But anyway, he wears detective clothes, so like a trench coat and a trilby, probably, um, with two little holes cut in the trilby to put his ears through. That's him. Okay. I forgot to say what my character actually looks like. <laughs> I just said what she was wearing. What does she look like? Oops. Okay. Uh, she is a... She's probably in her early 20s. Uh, she has purple, long-ish hair. And big blue eyes. Looks a bit punkish. But in a cool way. That's all. Okay. And Carlo, or just Steve? What do you wear? Well, what do you just look like? Steve, just Steve gets paid a lot to try out these experimental drugs. So he's wearing, so he was, you know, he's wearing, he's quite smart, wearing a three, three piece suit. But he's always sort of high, so his eyes are like wide open. Well, one, one is what I, you know, wide open like that. And he's just, just smart. And he's, he's also got golden brass knuckles. Well, it's just golden knuckles, I guess. Hey. So, how do you all know each other? I suppose we should start with um, Philip because he's the reason that we all know each other. Yeah. Um, well, at some point, I guess initially, at some point, like um, Alice and Philip must have played. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Like okay. But... Yeah. So my connection is that I'm comfortable around one player in particular, and um, my connection therefore is Philip. Because we used to play video games together before it became a famous uh, esports player. We used to just duo casually together. And we remained friends since, even though we weren't still playing games. Is your character comfortable with my character because she knows him? 
she's better than him. <laughs> Games now. And there's nothing <laughs> no, they were friends beforehand, so she knows that he isn't there just for her fame. Probably. Someone she can trust for that reason. Um, but that aside, at some point, like um, you two helped me to detect a um, esports star who's using drugs. Like I was employed by some kind of like esports, like the developer of a game maybe or something like that, and um, we worked together using Carlos' drug knowledge and, um, or rather, just Steve's drug knowledge and Alice's esports knowledge and my, you know, street smarts to sniff out the, the person who's using drugs. That's what we did. Or possibly we sniffed out someone who's completely the wrong person. But we saw the <laughs> case on paper anyway, so that's okay. I don't know, we should probably explain Carlos. Oh, so since I get to try experimental drugs, uh, I decided to give some drugs to Deegan to make a, you know, it's like performance enhancing esports drug. So, so she's you know, doping. Deegan to try. <laughs> Dope. Only yeah. for one tournament, I want to say. <laughs> but yeah, so. She not cheated in FGC. Damn it. So essentially, that means that the story was. But though uh, Philip or Dennis's character is not aware that he was actually searching for me, but we sort of tricked him into searching for somebody else, so his entire thing went a bit wrong. He's not entirely aware of this. <laughs> no, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Caught me in the past. Whoopsie. So you used to be a cop, yes, Philip. Yeah, I was a cop, um, but. There was a lot of corruption in the force, and consequently... I so this, this incident know. with maybe getting the wrong person had nothing to do with it? Yes. Uh, that is clearly... Uh, there was, like, enough ambiguity over the case that, like, I was moved to, like, a traffic cop or something like that. And I was just like, this is too corrupt. And also, you know, I'm taking my toys and going home if you've overwatered me for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we ruined his life. <laughs> and now I'm massively in debt. Basically, thanks to you guys. Um, well, you guys are super successful drug dealers, and you know, uh, he's, <laughs> he's not bitter about it at all. Nope. <laughs> okay, so, well. just Steve, tell me a bit about your uh, golden knuckles. <coughs> oh, well, before before I was not a drug dealer, I kind of served drugs. Okay, okay, you're a drug taker, um, aren't you? Not a dealer. Well, <laughs> I, I suppose you are a dealer if you gave one to. Alice. Well, I, I, one one time dealer. Uh well I grew I grew up in the you know in the slums of Manchester and growing up was quite hard. So I, I you know I had to make a name for myself. So I beat up some thugs and then I, I collected the golden teeth and made them to my golden brass knuckle that I used. So you never lose them? Hand -hand combat. I never use them, I just, it's just for show. Very much. Just for show. Just for show. Wait, so if you've got the knuckles in your hands, then how do you beat people up if you don't use them? Well, I'm trained. I trained. I trained all my life. You said you don't use them. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just for show. What? It's just, it's, 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 see, see this. <laughs> These are right. the teeth. Uh, I, I, I want you to roll persuasion against the GM. <laughs> you, uh, you can also make a bunch of puns like you've bitten off more than you can chew. Like um, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. <laughs> That's probably how they can intimidate them. Uh, do, do you actually want me to roll? Uh, just to check about one actually while we're on that topic, does everyone know how to roll? Or roll twenty. No. Um, okay, so is it type roll twenty? Is that correct? Or something? In, in the chat, you can do forward slash r space one d twenty. So I'll type in how it should look like that. Yes. We bring up the dice thing so stream can see yes. it. Excellent. That's just how it works. So I want to see what uh, card I get for. Uh... Well done. Here we go. <laughs> that is cheese. <laughs> The GM is persuaded by your uh, story. Very well. Okay. Get into this. So, 
You've all heard... Actually, no, before I say that, I didn't introduce myself. I am a game cat. I am a GM for this session. That is all you need to know. I sell magazines. Good info in those magazines. So, let's just jump straight into it now, I suppose. And I'm hoping... It, it did seem a bit laggy, so... I don't know why that is. OBS is telling me the encoding is overloaded when it's the same settings as it's always been. Oh well. It might be my intense overlay it doesn't like. Maybe. So. You're all in Rover Fair in Trafford, in obviously Manchester. Philip has told you about a elusive rare blue feather called the Gygax B2. No one has much information on it, but you've been told you get a great time from it. There's a lot of knockoffs of the feather, and you want the real deal. There's no point with cheap knockoffs. Why try? So you're here in Rover Fair trying to get information on it, try and track one down, or try and track the main feather down. So, Philip, how did you become aware of this feather? Um. I got a tip from someone, like someone was arrested who had something to do with the transport of it or something like that in um, by the Manchester police. And I still have friends there, so one of them tipped me off that uh, could be in this area. Um, and also, you know, I'm a big fan of feathers. Love me some feathers. They're the only thing that let me escape from my horrible life. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Do, does your character like ever just go into like rookie cop feathers to roleplay a bit? Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> a bit of the uh, better life. Uh, yep. Okay. So, and yeah, you need just Steve and Alice to help you out find this. Oh yeah, yeah. So a guy with teeth on his hands and an esports grill. I literally would never go anywhere else. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seem like the best people, you know. Yeah. So, best I mean, I'm good with feathers. Like, I can always help out. I'm. I mean, I'm sure you're good with feathers. You did take one from Just Steve before. Just once. When you say Just Steve, I keep thinking you're saying Just Eat, like the. <laughs> yeah, I keep. You took one from Just Eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's his, uh, that's his, like, nickname, Just Eat. Well, I knew I needed to bring someone with the drug expertise and the wide experience of taking a bunch of feathers to, uh, you know, help me track this shit. Let's not forget, Alice also has an entourage, so you can use them for, like, distractions and, like, gathering some information for you as well, help you out. That's exciting. Yeah, since we last met, I've gained a following. I heard. I watch you on Twitch. Or I watch you on... <laughs> I watch you on Feather Twitch. That, the TV. <laughs> that, that TV, yeah. That TV. Aw, <laughs> oh, you still watch me, that's so cute. So, a bit more information on what the Feather actually is. The Blue G uh, Gygax series of fantasy adventure feathers is one of the most popular series of blues ever to have been produced. The series recreates some of the best loved stories and scenarios from the antiquated days of the tabletop role playing games that became so popular in the last quarter of the 20th century. The latest episode, Blue Gygax B2, is rumoured to be the best one yet, but no one seems to be able to get hold of a legitimate copy. A few quote unquote tinfoil hat theories have sprung up to answer the question. If no one can find a copy, how does everyone know it's so good? However, most are just looking to hack and slash their way through a copy, bootleg or not. So, it is the best thing anyone's ever heard of. But, how do you know it's real? So, you're here in the Rover Fair in Trafford, trying to find it. So, a Rover Fair, pretty much, if you don't know, I suppose it's just like a market where people peddle their feathers, their weapons, anything really. There's quite a few of them in, in Manchester. And it's just a good place to buy anything you need or get information. So, how would you start this? How would you try to get information? Or is there anything else you want to do in Rover Fair while we're here? Well, to begin with, I can send out my entourage as I have five of them, all to go and try and gather information 
and see if there's anything around. Okay. Um, let me just see. Okay, so you've not got any assets to it. So just roll me a d20. I'll give you an asset to it because you are sending out like five people to get you information. <laughs> Hopefully one of them can come back. Oh shit, no. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> this is a very good start. Alright, so... I'll just roll for each of them. <laughs> okay, so... Um, like many people that have investigated or tried to gather information on this feather, they've gone missing. I've lost them all already. <laughs> like, your whole entourage, like, you expected them back in a couple minutes, like, maybe half an hour, let's say. With some intel, none of them come back. You okay. look around, well. you can't find them anywhere. But in the distance, you see some thugs looking at you a bit strange. That's five pure followers. I think they recognise you as Alice, the esports star. And I can't even hide now because all of my entourage is gone. No. <laughs> okay. So, um, I want you to roll initiative. So you can click on the in your uh, character sheet. Actually, you can always roll uh, d20s. Probably so you intellect? can click the button. Under your oh, skill wait. speed, there should be initiative. Yeah. I can see speed. I can't see initiative. You see skill wait, speed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. press the dice next to it. Well. You got three. This is not going well for me. Am I blind? I see a speed. Uh, I see a speed. Skill right. on the Skill right speed. in the yes. middle. Yeah, I see it now. Hooray! Eight. Which I get. That wasn't it. Like, you both got bad rolls. Yeah. But I, don't I have two something or other? I have some special. Uh, that's plus six already. Oh, shit. I think. Oh, God. I'm dreadful. Wait, am I meant to roll as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to character sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then click on the dice next to skill speed. Where is that? In the middle in of, the middle like, middle top. Yeah, there's like a little... There's a dice button. Dice symbol. I can't find it. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Why is everyone doing so dreadfully? So it was about a three... <laughs> a one. A two <laughs> and a one? Yeah. Um... Okay, so <laughs> Philip gets to go first. Okay. Um, so, uh, what are they doing here? Are they staring us down? They're staring you down, and now they're coming towards you. There's about three of them. Okay. But there could be more hidden in the crowd. You can't quite see because there's so many people. So, they're about. I'd say one of them's a short distance, the other two are a bit further. So, what would you want to do to them? Or do in general. I want to try and intimidate, like the the guy who's sort of approaching me most directly. I want to like face off a square up to him and, and try and you know get another point you, of view. You want to intimidate him? <laughs> yes. They roll a. I just think I'm barking at him or something like that. Three. Oh my god, what? <laughs> He's not intimidated. That's at dreadful. All. What why are the rules all so bad? <laughs> like <laughs> He just like spits in your face. <laughs> can, hey. can I show him my golden brass knuckles made out of teeth from the old thugs that be up? You can and on your turn. It's my turn next, isn't it? Um, um, it, it, no, it'll any... be the folks' oh. turn next. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, one of them, like, is up with Dennis now, because he went up to him and tried to intimidate him. Okay. And he, uh, flashes his knife at your shoulder. Jesus, okay. So, uh, do, I, do I make a roll of what happens there? Do I roll speed defense? Is that correct? Um, you can do, you're trained in speed defense. So you can try okay. to dodge out of the way if you press that button. 
Yay! I got 17. You got 17. So, if that was an attack, you would have actually got one extra damage on it as well. Yeah, well. But, you just... Tell me how you dodge out of the way. Um... I... Drop and roll. Drop and roll that way, okay. Um... There's another one. He's like, coming up and he... Kind of roll. There's another one coming up and he's got a... Hammer. No, he's got a Millwall brick. So he's got a newspaper, like, rolled up. It's covered in liquid. You don't know what liquid it is. Could be water, most likely, or oil or something. To give it a bit more impact. And he's also stuffed a sharp object in there that you can't really see. To make it a bit more damaging. So he's going to try and smack you with his Millwall brick. Me, or...? You, as well. Okay. The, other, the rest of them are too far away. You went up to them. Um, magazine, <laughs> rolled up magazines as a dog. These are my my worst nightmare. I really don't like rolled up magazines. <laughs> Do you try to grab it with your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell, tell me how you stop him. Um, I, I'm still like rolling from the previous time and I like duck through this guy's legs. Um, you like, you like roll to side and you like through. roll yeah. again. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing like a dog roll as well, so I'm like fully on my back and like stretched out. And then I just this is like Dark Souls rolling, yeah? Yeah, I sort of squeeze through him. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, third guy is a bit too far away. He's, he's just running towards you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now it is Alice's. So there's no way of talking to these guys, is there? Cause I mean, you can try. Alice, <laughs> Alice prefers conversation over... Uh, Fighting. Do you... Solve. You have empathy. That wouldn't really... Hmm. Nah. I don't think anything's going to work You, you can attempt to talk to them. I want to attempt to talk to them. I want, Alice asks why they're attacking us in the first place and what happened to the entourage. Uh, maybe, like, you hear one of them just shout that you were... Uh, Poking around, like, your entourage was poking around their stores, poking around where they live, and What's... their crew just decided they weren't having it, so they just took them hostage. Okay, we're gonna have to attack them. They're, they're not nice people attacking my minions. Yep. Uh, but I still haven't moved this time, I haven't made a move. I, I'll, I'll let you do an action, yeah. Okay. Am I close enough to use force point? Um, you should be. Okay, yeah. I'll try. Yeah, you, you, you can move probably point. move forward a bit, only force point. Yeah, okay, I'll move forward a bit. But still out of range of them, like, I'm still behind uh, Philip, because I'm a ranged person, but... Okay, yeah. so... Click on the dice next to attack, intellect, force point. What is force point? So... Wait. I'll do the thing in chat so you can see what force point... Okay, you can do it. Do Does I it... just use attack? Yeah, with attack um, force point as well. Oh, I see, I see. Well, shit. I'm getting terrible rolls. Uh, tell me how it misses. It narrowly misses by sliding past his cheek. It looks, it looks like it should have done some damage, but it just doesn't. Okay. So your um, skill shots are not on point right now. Not on point. It's a bit embarrassing, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> oh. Just Steve. What you doing? Hello. All right. So what's, So are they are they up to me at this point? I, like what happened? Um. So you're you and Alice are a bit behind because Philip ran ahead. Like knife blade or brass knuckles blazing, and tried to intimidate them. So you're a bit behind, so you can run up to one of them if you want to attack them. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I not try to scare them off and be like, see, see these... You, you also want to try to intimidate them. Yeah. I mean... Why not? I mean, you can show, like, you want to show them your golden teeth brass knuckles, yeah? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they know where it came from. <laughs> well, why have you got teeth <laughs> on your hands? Um, okay, <laughs> try, roll a d20. Uh, okay. Oh. 
much. It would probably help if I showed the rolls on the screen. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Holy so, shit. so <laughs> you attempt to intimidate the guy. Like you run up to him. You just right in his face. Show like you couldn't really get much closer without actually touching the skin. You show him the brass no golden knuckle, sorry, with teeth all over it, and he thinks you're some fucking monster. Like yeah, that's, that's <laughs> he's terrified. Funny. Like who puts teeth in their hands? So the others see how he reacts as well, and we just fucking run. They all just run. See you later. Combat's over. Just the... Sweet. Do you want to follow them back to where they came from to get your entourage? Just we do that. Guys, I think we should go back. They might have. Get... They might have got some information. And also, I feel like I shouldn't leave them behind because that might make me look kind of bad in the press. So. Oh. Revert press. Revert press. Go All on. right. So... so they're running quite yeah. fast. So, but you can tell the general direction we're coming from. Are you just gonna like leg it for them as well, or are you gonna try to, I guess, track them in some way? Could I use my running skill to like try and catch like the the sort of slowest guy or something like that? Yeah, roll. You're running. That's no, garbage. Never mind. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just a bit too fast for you like you you get up to him and like you lunge for him and you just hit the ground okay so can we run in their the direction can we still follow them are we able to keep a track of where they're going so i, I assume you're all running at the stage and like philip just tried a bit harder because he can yeah 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 so you're swerving through the rover fair and they're trying to lose you because they know you're chasing. So they're running like through the stalls and they're running like round corners and whatever. And when one of them actually runs around a corner, there's some person like just carrying something to another stall and he just smashes right into him. <laughs> so he's on the ground and you catch up to him. What are you going to do? Um. I feel like I'm not the most intimidating person as anyone. <laughs> should definitely get Just Steve's like... So we're we're going to have Just Steve show my knuckles again. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get some well, information out of him. I do have persuasion on my skills, I think, right? Um, yes. So can I can I persuade, to persuade him to tell, tell me what... Uh, Alice's entourages are. Um, or if if or if it has any information about them. Roll me persuasion. Uh, Under your uh, skills intellect. Oh, I got it. I'll give it to you. So he um he's kind of like quaking in his boots while on the ground and he's just like please leave me alone i didn't mean to do it didn't mean to take him and like obviously you're like well why the fuck did you take him then how can you not mean to just take someone hostage bit dumb you gather he's not very intelligent um so you're just like lean no room Trying to get you into, and he just, he just fucking screams and like just tells you like just right over there in that house. He just points, and you can see it. And yeah, do you want to let him go? Should we tie this person up or something? I feel like we should tie this person up. That's what I was going to suggest. Okay. Do you want to take him with guess. you, or do you want to just leave him there? Or what are you going to do? I mean, with we could use him as a trade off. Okay. Ah. We're gonna trade hostages. We, we, we trade hostages until we get the uh, exactly. back. Exactly. And yeah. if they don't want to trade off and we end up fighting, we just take this guy with us and give him to the police. Agreed. Okay. Would what? have said kill him if I was like an evil character, but I'm not. 
but that was my first four. <laughs> so, yeah. So you're going to go up to the house, I'd assume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, just Steve, I guess, has the man. Is he man? He's the strongest. He is a uh, shadow man dog like you are, Philip. Uh, interesting. So you've got him now, you're outside the building. What are you going to do? Knock. Yeah, sure. I agree with this question. Yep. Okay, so you knock on the door. Are you just going to, like, someone else like, someone else being like, who is it? What do you want? Uh, I would like my entourage back, please. Entourage? What's that? There's five men and women. I, I don't know specifically. Uh... <laughs> don't ask, you don't ask your entourage, entourage those questions. It's, it's irrelevant. <laughs> it's irrelevant to me. There's five men and women in your possession who I would like to get back. Don't know what you're talking about. He like closes the peephole that you opened before. I knock that? again. Perhaps uh, Steve could like convince the guy to like give the password or whatever it is to like get us inside. Well, why don't we just <laughs> shove the um, guy in front of the door? Yeah, I agree. And it looks like him. So you're gonna shove so him up for people? Yes. <laughs> okay. So like, you, you knock again, like. Very aggressively, he like reopens people. Like, fuck, do you want? I said I don't know him. And like, you can you've shoved the guy in there, like in the mm -hmm. right of people. And he's like, Jimmy, what have I done to you? He's like, they won't let me go, boss. He's like, I hold my. <laughs> well, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> We'll give you you give you people back. Just give us Jimmy. He's our youngest. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's who we wanted. Wait, wait. Right. We also want information about the feathers that we. But they might have the information about the feathers. That's what yeah. I'm wondering. All right. So oh, he, op okay. he, he opens the door, and there's him and like four guys standing behind him, all looking pretty buff. Okay. That's fine. <coughs> that's Can we fine. just have our people, please. <laughs> Um, They've never done anything wrong to no one. So the guy there, at the door, he would maybe be inclined, but the four guys behind him are a bit more hostile. They're not so inclined to uh, give you people back because you've taken Jimmy hostage. And taken they're, they're pretty much inclined to kill you right now. Can I try, try and lighten them? Um, you want to do deception? Yes, I want to use a I want to use deception to say that we're part of a rival gang, and we were sent here for the blue feather and the entourage. And if they don't give it to us, you know, there's going to be a lot more trouble coming. Um, I kill Jimmy. And also, can I? Obviously, it's been a while since this, but there's. How do I, I, if I apply a level of effort, do I, I, I lose three intellect points, is that correct? And I have a greater chance of succeeding? Um, if you apply a level of effort in that, yes. You'll lose three okay. from your thing, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, okay, so I'll take you down to eight. So I'm going to press deception. So you'll be getting plus two to deception. You know what? You got. You didn't even need it. And you got a minor effect. Excellent. Nice. So, for some reason, they all really take in the story about you being from a rival gang. And you wanting information. And they're actually a bit concerned. They've never heard of your gang before. They think you're some, like, shadow vert cult. Right on. And they just, like, bring out the fucking entourage immediately. Like, they don't want to fuck with you. You're like, you're some detect like det well. You're dressed like a detective. They don't know if that's like the, cl the garments of someone you killed. Like we got just Steve who's wearing a like three piece suit. Who just walks around a Rover fan in a three piece suit? That means fucking business. <coughs> and we got Alice like got head like purple hair headset on, like 
Got her like Vert DS next to her in a pocket. <laughs> like <laughs> she, she's clearly like got money. So they really don't want to fuck you. They bring him out, they just hand him over, and are you gonna give Jimmy back? Um Should we give Jimmy back? I mean there's no real point in keeping him, to be fair. <laughs> like, the, the, the boss now. just, like, um, breaks down a bit. And you, you realise, like, he's actually Jimmy's dad. And like, breaks down, like, just give me my son back, please. So I Jimmy. just sort of shove him forward and say, yeah, okay, have him. As long as we get our people back, I'm happy. Wait, wait, the blue feathers, what the hell is that? Wait, did we get all the, did we get the blue feathers? Did that work? No, you ain't got feather yet. Oh. Have we got our people yeah. back? You've got, you've, got, you've, got, you've got your entourage back. Take after. Back season, take back season. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Give us the blue feather and we'll give Jimmy back. Yeah, so uh, as an extension of the uh, minor effect, they tell you some intel on the blue feather. So they know there's a guy who sells bootleg feathers. And rumour has it, he might have a copy of a bootleg version of this and know where to get a real co a real one. So his name is Jimmy Jones. He's a feather operator and he just Jimmy works Jimmy out the truck. Jones. Jimmy Jones, yeah, he's, he's, it's another Jimmy. Okay. Not his son, he assures you, he's not his son. Okay. <laughs> so, the same Jimmy. You happy with that now? You're gonna leave the poor bad gang alone? <laughs> the poor bad guys. Yes. Okay. So sort of shove Jimmy back in his father's direction and say, sorry for the inconvenience, <laughs> sir. Right. Do we know where this Jimmy Jones is? No. So he, he, he's, he's, he's like based <laughs> out of a random truck that he owns, but he moves around because they don't want, he doesn't want police to find him. Okay. okay. So how would you track him down? I actually have something for this. I have a contact in the police. Yep. Detective Inspector Chambers, who, like, I helped him solve a case before. Is it James Chambers? Who? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, he, he owes me a big favor because I helped him solve a case and I let him take the credit. So I can right. call in this favor and have him, like, you know, use the resources of the police to. How do you call him in? Um, do I have mobile, phone, mobile phones a thing in the road or do the people just like. There is solve? personal data feathers, but I can tell you that. Just Steve has one. Uh, he has a, he has a disposable one. Just one Steve, uh, can I borrow your feathers? Of course, of course you can. Excellent. Uh, I take his feather and I put him in. Oh, okay. I'll go for it. <laughs> I'll get it back here. <laughs> you, 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 you can only use that function of it once, so you can never call anyone else. What? what the, really it, it's a disposable one. It's, it's like a disposable camera. Yeah, because Just Steve is, how old I say, he likes to, he, he, like, he plays to win, so he's quite high risk, so he carries around, like, probably generally a couple of these, so he needs to call someone, he calls them and quickly chucks it away, so that he can't be tracked. So, you take that off him. Um... I'll, I'll I'll leave it on Steve's character sheet, and we can just note that it's already it's used that function of it now. But he can still do a message or a link. Just so you know what those are. A message is a voicemail, pretty much, and a link is basically you can connect it to another feather, so you can use it again. Or like let someone else enter that feather. So the message function has been done. I'll just delete that off. So you've taken the blue feather. Cool. Um, can I give him a call? Give him my friend Chambers. I'll give him a call at home as well, just to make sure he's. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you you already know his vert address. So you shove the feather in your mouth and. A second or two after that happens, a menu like pops up in front of your face, but only you can see, and it has the options message, link, or call. Um, I guess I'll 
guess I'll call him to get this done as quick as possible. Okay. So, tell me how the conversation goes. Like, well, what, what do you ask? We're all friends, and I remind him that, you know, like, we did this job together in the past, and, you know, you wouldn't even be a detective inspector. You'd still be a grunt like, a, like I was if I didn't, you know, let you have the credit on that. So, you better help me out here, or I'll out you. <laughs> no, I won't. <won't>. I mean, I'll, like, you know, expose the shadiness of the case we solved together. So, help me track this man. Use Deploy all the resources of the Manchester police to find this van that I want. Okay. So, he remembers back, and he, he knows in his heart that, like, he really does owe you for it. So, he tells you that he's, he's heard of this Jimmy Jones, and they were actually investigating him, but because he owes you one, he will let you, before they do a raid on him, go check what he knows, get anything you need, that kind of thing. So, his uh, truck is just, I mean, surprisingly enough, out the back of a rover fair. So if you looked around a bit more, maybe you would have found it there. Yeah. <laughs> well. But he could have moved it. Who knows? But yeah, so you know where Jimmy Jones is now. What are you going to do? Jimmy. You want to do anything else in Rover Fair or you just want to go straight for Jimmy? Can we just ask if any of my entourage actually found out anything useful? Yeah, so you've got your entourage for a bit shaken up, and for some reason you didn't ask them when you got them back if they knew anything, and they, yeah, they heard about Jimmy Jones. That's why they were taken. <laughs> um, so, anyway, I, I get down. Feedback is sort of. I assume it's goopy from all the drool and stuff in my mouth. Um, didn't like that feather. Yeah. So you, you take it out and you just hand it back and to I wipe him. it off on the Ew. side of my jacket and then hand it back to him. <laughs> how, how do you react to that, Just Steve? I mean, it's a, it's a burner. So yeah. Right, yeah. Away. <laughs> you, you don't want to keep <laughs> it for the other two functions? You just want to chuck it now? Oh, right. So the, so the other some... functions you've got one time use as well? Right? Yeah, you can use them all once. So, so I've only got message and... And link. And like, yeah, well, uh, I guess I guess I'll wipe it off his clothes and then Excellent. shove it back, shove it back in my pocket. It'll be like the kissed when you. <laughs> wow, All right? So <laughs> you're just gonna go for Jimmy Van? Yeah. Don't want to like yeah. buy anything or like look around, browse the wares. Um, I'm too far in debt to browse the wares. <laughs> Are you? Uh, yes. I mean, I know I have two hundred money on me, but there's debtors after. That's me. all you've got to your name. Yeah, that's I less. Mean, I mean, I have more. money, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to shove it in anyone's face, so we can just continue <laughs> with the journey. <Yeah. laughs> all right. So I think now is probably to be fair, just a good time to go for a quick intermission. So you know where Jimmy Jones is. You're all happy to just go for him. So you make your way through the rover fair and as you're walking through like you get a few strange looks like you got a detective a guy in a suit and you got someone who's dressed rather how, how would you say you dress again alice um sort of like punk gamer yeah so it's like they're, they're wondering just a bit like why is there like a detective a concierge and <laughs> and a punk girl just walking around together through the fair. But to be fair, they've seen stranger stuff. You're not some tentacle monsters from the vert, so or a giant slug. But they, they just let you get on. But then a woman actually walks up to uh, just Steve. She thinks he looks quite dapper, and she's clearly a bit high on some kind of drug. So, how does Steve react? Um, from from her face, and since you know, I'm a kind of sort of drunk. Can I can I slightly tell what she's on? Um, <clears throat> or how she's you know reacting and stuff. Right, just d give me a d twenty roll. Fuck 
Can't Just stop me again. Uh, you got <laughs> okay. You got a nineteen. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know. You know what this drug is? It's skull fuck. She's just like her mind is ruined right now. <laughs> but she's apparently still really interested in you. Um. Define interested. Trying to make out with you. Ah. Uh, okay. You do, I will say you don't know if this could be a distraction for something else, or it could just be some random woman. What does she look like? The important question. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is she? She's got like... Oh, yeah. What is she? Yeah. She is a... Shadow Man. Okay. Like hey. Alice's. Okay. So she's got. She's actually got like dirty blonde hair. When I say dirty, I mean like it's covered in filth. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a bit of a junkie, you gather, as like if you put two and two together. Okay. Uh, she's got like smeared makeup. She's probably wearing someone else's clothes. And she's missing a shoe. Yeah. If she's Can a I... skull fuck. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, I can whisper to you of like, do you want to escape this? <laughs> or maybe, maybe she's. Uh, so, how how hard is Skullfuck to get? Because then maybe. It, it's like a common people. street drug. Oh, okay. Does, does she have any information about. Like the uh, uh, uh Gygax B2, Gygax B2 Fed or or anything at all that I can ask for. Or yeah, the Gygax B2. Yeah, she, she wants you want about that feather. Um, she's just like flailing about a bit and not really paying attention to what you say. Okay. How to get away? To. <laughs> I ask, I ask the entourage to surround us, and we just walk off. You just ask that all five of your entourage, like <laughs> they just surround us, and we just walk off in a thing and disappear. Um, give me a d twenty roll. <laughs> I really like the idea of this working. <laughs> Wait, uh, sorry. Roll. Ask. Sasha. Um, space one d twenty. Okay, so your entourage just like surrounds the poor like high as a kite like woman, and she doesn't know what's going. She's like spinning round like just surrounded by people. Like to her, they're all like look the same pretty much. That's racist. <laughs> no, it's just because she's like so out of it. Like the faces are just like blending together, and she just like keeps turning round and like get faster and faster, and she just like. Spins out and falls on the ground. She is no Good longer work, distracting you. Good job. Does she have anything we can take? Yeah, I was just thinking, can we take the. the... <laughs> can you take what? <laughs> can we take the drug from her? Is, is she, don't, she already used it. Like, probably disposed of it somewhere else. And I don't yeah, think sorry. you'd find much in her pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're like. The... Yeah, I don't know. Sell her organs. <laughs> I'm good. You're just gonna leave okay. her on the floor, yeah? <clears throat> I um, asked one of my enough. entourage to take her to the hospital yeah, and ask them to recoup with us later. Uh, okay. Okay. So your entourage, like. Only one of them. We don't need multiple. So, so one of your entourage just, like, picks her up. She's quite light. She's probably quite mal like, malnourished and what have you. And he just takes her off to nearby hospital, I suppose. Have a good Which, trust. there isn't actually any nearby, so he's going to have to call a black cab. That's fine. But that's, that's <laughs> fine for him, he goes and handles that. Okay. Alright, so... Whilst that was happening, you didn't realise... But... Philip's revolver has gone missing. What? Oh, no. And so has Alice's. 
Oh, oh what? That costs me money. I suspect that while she was genuinely high as a kite, that was part of a con, and someone pickpocketed both of you while that was happening. Let's get your fucking guy back here, and let's interrogate her, and let's fucking find out who, this is and who her friends are, and I want my revolver! Oh. They did that without any of my entourage noticing. Yeah, so you're, you and your entourage are all, like, just looking at this woman, and they must come up behind you. Okay, fuck the blue feather, now we need to put frog. Oh, <laughs> that cost me money! Agreed. You uh, had an antique okay. pistol worth a grand. I know! Right. So... Um... What are you gonna do? Your entourage has taken the woman away. Only one of them, I still have four. So yeah, but... Your entourage to get the other person from your entourage and bring back the one. <laughs> I don't know if she will know much, though. I mean, we could send him a message. Wait... <laughs> could I... How far away is he? Is he already gone? He's in a, he's in a black cabin gone. Oh, fuck it. You That's could try to message him. Using the, one thinking. of the last two functions of your... Uh, yeah, PDF. <laughs> I, still, I still have a PDF. Would message. Can we try messaging him then? If you want. Okay. Send him a quick text saying... Well, I don't know. Do we want to bring her back or do we want to like... Well, I guess you'd be pretty useless. Just see if he knows anything. Or he can find out anything in like important as to where our stuff may have gone from her. Yes. Um, okay, so <laughs> you take you take the feather in your mouth, menu comes up, you choose message, you're talking to your entourage, and he's got her like she's passed out in the cab. Great. Like he okay. can't get any info. Well when she goes to the hospital maybe he can get something out of her then. Yeah, that <clears throat> that'll be a while. Okay. You need to do something more immediate if you want your stuff back. It's, does anyone have tracking or anything like that? Or any sort of... I'm not... Uh, nope. I can only identify objects, but that's not very useful. Could I, um... Sort of identify a passerby and just ask them if they have anything, um... Suspicious? Um... Yeah, so the, there was a person out of still nearby. Going through. And... She was watching what was happening, and she saw, like, a cowed figure come up to you. And she says she didn't quite know what they were doing, but she suspected something was a bit dodgy. And she points in the general direction that they were going. Well, where were they going? Opposite direction you were going. Can I ask her what is in that direction? Where you came there. from. Oh god damn. It's gonna be that place that has Jimmy and the gang again. Fucker, we're gonna kill these gang members. Um, she, she also okay. points out, and really just Steve should have noticed this, because he does get like an asset to mechanical and electrical tasks, and he probably would have found it a bit odd there's just random screws and shit like on the pathway back. She points out there's like a trail. Okay. Follow the trail. All right, thanks, Miss McKay. Everyone's an expert now. Everyone's a bit like the shoes. <laughs> your mechanics, don't you? That's fine. Okay, go back to selling your drugs. You know, we're gonna go and do some actual hero stuff. <laughs> Most patronizing. You're, you're, just, you're just like patronizing, patronizing her under your breath, and she's just like That's another fucking one. Nope. I give her my card. <laughs> give her your card. Yes. If you need detective services. Yep, Patronizing detective services. Yep. Right, okay. so you, you start making your way back where you came from, and surprisingly enough, trail leads not to the building, but huh? other Jimmy was at where your entourage was taken. It actually um, leads to the building next to it. <laughs> what kind of building is it? Is it like a shack or is it? Um... Um, this part of Manchester is, imagine like the Victorian buildings in London, ah, cool. like that in Manchester. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so there's this trail just leading to one of the windows of that building. 
Hmm. Is the window open? No. It's been no. very quickly, seemingly boarded up. Is there is a door? There any? Oh, there's a door. Can we get in the door without anyone noticing, or would it? Um, you go to open the door, and it's clearly barred on the other side. You could try to bash it open. Try uh, to find another way in. I vote just to try to bash it open. Or Basically, could we do this fun. more sneakily? Yeah, you could try, try to find another way. Can we look for another way around the side? Fair enough. Of the building. Yeah, so... There's like a small garden area. And there's a door there that's not been closed, but you'd have to climb over the fence. Uh, yeah, can I try and climb over the fence then? Would this count as sneaking? I'm trying to do it sneakily. Sneaking over a fence. Um, mm, maybe not sneaking over the fence, maybe I'll use it after then. Yeah. So is it just you going over? Well, I mean, I'm not the only one who had my stuff stolen. <laughs> what if... Uh, you can go over the fence and I try and, like, break down the door or get in a different way through a window or something like that. Okay, we can do this separately. That could be interesting. Just Steve, what do you want to do? Do you want to try a window, or do you want to climb the fence? I think, do I, I think I'll... I'll... Sorry, you go. No, it's great. I think I'll stay outside, just, you know, make sure everything's... You know, no one no one calls the police or anything. Or right, well, might I'll be definitely call the police if you know who <laughs> 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 well, I'm breaking in, but, like, yo, we're only retrieving our son's stuff. Anyway. Okay. It's all right. But at least no more gang members will ever be your fist. So, Hello. Alice and Feb uh, Alice and Philip are going over here. Yeah? I'm not going. There. I'm going in. He's like, going. can I go in the window that the trail led to initially? Boarded. Oh, it's boarded. Sorry. Um, the door you could try and slam through. Um, I could. I mean, to be fair, the area is quite loud. It might be no one notices. I mean, I can I can sort of help him bash the door in. Yes, excellent. We'll do this. Do you want to? Okay, so you get an asset to bash it in. Okay, well, I'll, uh, but is that a might? Um, uh, yeah. Like, uh, oh, and I'll add, um, I'm going to use a point of effort on this. So, it, uh, oh, I have an edge. Does that mean so I get free effort? Get minus two instead of minus three. Uh, it just discounts it by one. Okay, so I should. Very well. Okay, and so you've applied, you've beat difficulty four, and you, you've got the assets, so you've beat difficulty five. Yeah, you bash the door down pretty easily. It wasn't actually barred that hard, really. Okay. You just well. smash it open, it swings, like the chair that was stuck behind the handle just goes flying. Like, it, it seems like someone wasn't actually trying to keep you out very much. Mm -hmm. You can do now. I want to wait in the hall and see what, it, like, if Alice makes an appearance or anything like that. They're on the back, yeah. Okay, so you, you go okay. around the back. The, and go around the back. I said the door's open, so you're gonna walk in. I'm gonna sneak in and try and remain undetected. Roll me, like. <coughs> so the hiding and sneaking. Yeah. Okay, so because it like even though the like of the noise outside still quite loud for anyone inside, they did hear the front door being rammed in, but they wouldn't have noticed someone coming in the back. So what? One <laughs> sec. Technical difficulties. Discord rip. 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 We still need your video. Need your video. I know. Ah. Whoops. Discord just like restarted itself. That happened to me earlier. Never using Discord video again. I've decided. <laughs> so. Oh no, my mouse has gone really slow. So, I didn't notice you sneaking in the back. And. 
You can hear footsteps walking away from you, likely walking towards the front where Philip was. How do you um, react? So, can I peer around a corner and see who is walking? Like, who is in the room? Um. So let me just fix this. Discord. Yeah. Not giving you a camera now. No. Okay. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Um, so, you peer around the corner mm -hmm. and see that there is what was described to you as like a cowled person walking away. They're not walking in a straight line, they're probably a bit drugged up as well. Can I see any signs of the weapons that we lost? Um, there's a table next to the back where you came in and it's got both revolvers on it and also some money and some random ciphers. Can I... if she's... or is it a he or a she? You can't tell. I can't tell. But they're walking towards Philip. Yes. The direction he Can was. Can I sneak in and try to take it without being noticed? And then sneak back out. Roll me another sneak. Hope this works, because that would be really easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so. <sorry. laughs> I want to smile and wave at Philip as I go by. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you, you go around the corner, but you can see Philip, and you just like signal to him, like, get out. Or distract, yeah. And um, you swipe your weapons, and you also pick up three ciphers that are on the table, and a money that's in a pouch. Okay. Just make your way out. Mm hmm. Jimmy, go back over the fence way. and you just round the meet corner a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you meet just Steve and Philip's gone out because he was signalled. Person inside's probably like, door just blew open. <laughs> and they could yeah. be so drugged up that they don't even like comprehend what's happened and all the stuff's just gone. Yeah. Okay. So you've got your stuff back and you've got some money. Roll me a d20. Me? Yep. See how much money you get. You get 150. Seems like she's taken quite a lot of money. Uh, okay, where is my money on the sheet? Uh, equipment, bottom right. I'm right now. Okay, cool. You better take all that money. You scumbag. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get it out later. <laughs> we I didn't know if we'd meet up yet. Have we met up yet? Yeah, so you're all just outside and like. Oh, okay. So he he, he can see you just like opening this pouch with loads of money in it, and you've got like these ciphers, <laughs> but you don't know what they do yet. No. Okay, I give everyone fifty each. Okay. You each get 50 currency, 50 pounds. I'm rich. Yeah. Hello. Helping out the debt here. Not Alex Even though I did all the work, but, you know. <laughs> distracted. So. Oh. Um, I will... Well, you've got these items and you don't know what they do. Okay. Can I use my mathematical training or my general training to find out? Yeah. Cool. So use that. Yep. Uh, do I need to roll it or? Yeah, roll it. What would be the roll? Would it be intellect? It's on your um. 
Should oh, be. Oh, wait. Trade. Yeah. Okay, I see it. There we go. Oh. Go, Lika. <laughs> Why have I rolled for stuff that's like <laughs> useless? Wow. <laughs> um. Okay, you know just by looking at them, like, you know, you fully understand what we are. And I will tell you. Let me just bring up the page with all the ciphers. I'll tell you what you get. The problem is I already have three ciphers. Does anyone have any space for ciphers? No. Um, no, okay. So we might have to get rid of some. Yeah. This is... The Rover Fair. You could try to... Sell them, sell trade them. them. Okay, okay. Use them for more intel. Mm -hmm. so I, I'll let you carry them for now, but... Oh, okay, to... cool, cool. So, you'll get... Right, so, that actually rolled to 100 well. Hmm. Whoever wants to take it can take it. So we get... Uh, Just Steve already has right. one of these, but you get a computer might mount. What that do? Which is this. Computer and security systems by sending it to one time. Um, my character doesn't really understand technology, so I think that might be more of um. I can that take one. that then. Okay, unless I mean I you could, you might each. want to sell it or something instead. Yeah, yeah. You I'll do take have this one, one anyway because it could come in useful. Yeah, but I won't. I'll just keep it in my inventory for now. You also get doggy fresh. That sounds useful for some people. Yeah, <laughs> it is infused chewing gum. Um, I'll, I'll need to roll the levels for these as well, but I'll do that in a sec. So you get this doggy fresh. You know, for 10 minutes per level of a cipher, the user can apply one level of effort to any task without spending points. That's pretty good for anyone. So <laughs> you get any task you apply it to for free. Hmm. Nice. Oh, and it does not count towards the maximum effort, so you could apply that and an extra level if you really wanted to make sure something was done. Hmm. Uh, do you want that one, Steve, or will I take that one? Uh, no, you can have it. Excellent. I don't think I could really drop anything. Uh, well, uh, how are we doing this? Are we storing them in our inventory until we can actually, like... Yeah, just store them for now and let me know which ones you want to get rid of immediately after. Okay. I'll just write in my background I guess okay and the third one is a quirk moth cocoon it's a small cocoon that hatches a black and white quirk moth what it does is as the full grown quirk moth emerges from a cocoon anyone looking at it is unable to focus on anything other than this miracle of life for a number of rounds nice so you probably that wouldn't want to like throw it and then look. You'd want to throw it and then look away. Well, not throw, but yeah. just like put it there and look away. So the level, level of them all will be level four for the mound, level four for the chewing gum, and level eight for the cocoon. So who's yeah. taking each of those again? I'm taking the first one. And you've the got second one. you've got a level four computer mic mound, a level four doggy fresh, and a level eight. Broke my cocoon. Who's take taking that? Who's taking that? Okay. So while this is happening, mm -hmm. while you're deciding who gets these items you've just nicked from this poor person. Um, a police informant runs up to Philip. Okay. Whoops. And he lets you know that the police raid's already begun. Oh shit, we forgot about that. Um... But it's, it's, right now it's like it's raiding the fair. Because there's a lots of legal, illegal activities going on here. Oh, so you're doing the fair first. Um... Yeah, so what's happened is... 
Because he owes you a favour, uh, Detective Inspector Chambers, Yeah. he thought it best to let you know so you can get out quick. Um, let's, can we go straight to the the van, do you think? Um, okay, so... You want to just like leg it from the van? That's what I suggest, considering. I'm, I'm going to have each of you drop one cipher then. Okay. So which, yeah, decide which ones you're chucking. Uh, you could use it right now. I am going to... No. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw away the cocoon. I'm just going to eat this chewing gum right now. You're throwing a cocoon. Yeah. Are you going to like, use it as a distraction or just like get rid of it? I mean, I could just... Can I use it now? <laughs> yeah, you can use it now. Be... Like, you could use it as like a means of escape. All the police like, get up to it and they're like, it's so beautiful. Alright. Attracted by the majesty of it. Alright, I guess... I guess... I, I, no, I think I'll throw it away. Just go, okay, just, you just drop the cocoon on the ground. Someone Don't will probably worry. try to like smoke it later on. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to throw mine as well. There is no use for it right now. I have. Uh, can I ask the police informant to hold my baggy fresh chewing gum for me? Hold on to that. Um. Sure. He takes doggy fresh chewing gum, and you might see him later on. But he has to like go now. And I, oh, I want to ask him what his name is. His name. Yeah. Um. He is. He's so he's informant. Morse. Just starting out. Hopes to one day be Inspector Morse. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's heard tales of a great inspector in the twentieth century like early twentieth century. I see. I guess late twentieth century of Inspector Morse. Very well. I want to be just like him. Same name and all. Alright, Inspector Morse, I'll help you out, provided you keep my chewing gum safe. So he's keeping you chewing gum. Yeah. Alice is chucking... Or... The one I just got. It's probably you're, the least useful. You're chucking the computer mic mount. Mm -hmm. And Sadly. Just Steve is chucking the... Right, come off cocoon. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could chuck it back towards the house so that the person who took the stuff could just have it. It's going to be a raid anyway, so what? What's yeah, that? I mean, they stole from us, so... Okay, so that's happening. You're gonna make your way back, like try to get back to the uh, truck. Yes. Okay, so you're on back direction yet again that you came from, trying to like get out <laughs> of room fair. When roll me a d20, Philip. Sorry, who did you say? Roll me a d20. Okay. Try on your hardest just to get to where you need to be. That's smash or Okay, as, as you're all running together, Philip gets tripped up by someone. Mm. And there's a group of folks, another gang, not the same one as before. And... They just grab you. I see. What'd you do? I want to tell these people the same lie I told the other people that we're um No. Yeah, well I will tell them the lie that we're that we're a rival gang. We're moving in to seize some feathers before the cops get here and you know they're going to be here imminently so you guys better get out of Dodge fast as well um roll deception <clears throat> okay <laughs> so as with the other gang they're concerned with how you all look and they just, they knew you were fresh, like faces, they'd never seen you before. But they know not to fuck around, and they, they just 
genuinely believe what you're saying. Okay. And they just like, like let go of you. They like dust your shoulders off, and they just like leg it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So, Sweet. <laughs> yeah, again, you're all gonna go running for that truck where you got, to <laughs> where you got to it, it, like, told it was. You reach for spot that Detective Inspector Chambers told you it was. It's not there. That's the ah. uh, We do. I turn around to my entourage and ask them if they knew where it would be going next, as they had spoken to people earlier. Yeah, so the intel they got was about Jimmy Jones and they knew that he would go around in a truck. That's all they knew. Why? <laughs> okay. I, I have nothing. Is there, is there any phone, phone booths around? I can try to call my contact Mr. Doodle. See if he's got any intel about it. <laughs> um... You just find a, a random uh, feather on the ground, one of the PDFs. Yes. You can use that. Probably been in smart test before, but you do Okay. You. Could have been. <laughs> I guess I guess I'll go call Mr. Doodle for some intel, see if he knows maybe something about Jimmy Jones. Alright, so you shove a feather in your mouth and you can see on the um like, user history of this feather. That someone yeah. was watching some hardcore porn. Like... Nice. They didn't want anyone else seeing it, so they just got rid of that feather pretty quick, it seems. Nice. Um... And you've got this in your mouth. So... <laughs> gotta find Jimmy Jones. <laughs> the menu comes up, you call Mr. Doodle. Your wonderful contact who supplies you with drugs, intel, and anything you need at half the price. Mm -hmm. Don't know why he does it, to be honest, but really likes you. So, how does the conversation go? All right, Doodle. Uh, trying to find Mr. Jimmy Jones. Do you know? Do you know anything about him? Yeah, so he's like, "Hey, Steve, what's up, my man?" Like, he goes fucking crazy, like, he's not spoken to you in ages. You, you probably met him, like, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, J Jimmy Jones, Jimmy Jones. Ah, oh, yeah, Jimmy Jones, yeah! And he's like, he brings up his, uh, you can't see, obviously, but he brings up his laptop, I guess. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got, I got an email from Jimmy this morning. He wanted some of my drugs to put him into feathers. Like, he gives you the address to where Jimmy lives. Doesn't even ask okay. you like why you want to know. He just gives you the address. Okay. Um. Can I can I also ask if he's got any any new tech that we can buy off him? Maybe because you know we just got money as well. So he's like, yeah, I just got these cyber implants, man. They're fucking crazy. It's like you can have a feather with you at all times. You wouldn't even notice. Okay. It's okay. Just, okay. I mean, we've got to go and find Jimmy and, and then we know his address. So I'll, right. just, I'll just be like, all right, I'll, I'll call you back later. See you later, man. All right, see you later, Doodle. <laughs> Mr. Doodle fucking loves you, apparently. He goes crazy every time. Good relationship. <clears throat> but the game That's cat right. would suggest there may be something more than a friendship there. <laughs> Nice one. Nice. So, it gives you the address. There's a stash pad nearby, surprisingly enough. Um, within distance, police won't get like near where you are for a while anyway. They have to go through everywhere else first. Just shut the whole fair down. So, you go up to the stash pad. It looks dark inside. Not boarded up or anything, it's just looks like a normal building. What do you guys want to do? Um, maybe we should... I think we should go in guns blazing. I think we should knock down the door or something like that. And, you know, hold up this sucker. Something we didn't do? 
Why? Why are we doing that? He's not done anything wrong. What? He has. He's thwarted us. He he moved his van. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, is the plan that we're buying the blue feather off him, or are we taking the blue feather? Um, I mean... you you don't actually know if he has it. This rumor has it. He has it. We want to find out if he has the feather. Okay. All right. Fine. We'll do it your way. We'll do it your. Four I'm just away. saying. I'm not confrontational, and also, I don't want anyone to catch me breaking in. Guns blazing into someone's house. It's okay to sneak in and nick some stuff, but guns no, blazing. They, too I much. took the stuff they stole from me and some money as compensation. Sure, that's okay. fine. All right, uh, we can knock the door then. Right, so you knock on the door and someone just shouts in the distance, like, "Who's there?" Uh, hi, it's Alice from the uh, ever-popular game Feathers of the Storm. It's a surprise uh, celebrity meet and greet. What's Feathers of the Storm? Shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I'm stumped. If they don't know who I am, I don't know how to get past this, guys. <laughs> um, can I lie to him and say that I'm Jimmy Jazz? Jimmy, sorry, Jimmy Jones? But that might be Jimmy Jones. We're gonna find yeah. out. Hi, <laughs> 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 yeah, well, Jimmy James. Jones lives, so I'd assume like. Hi, I'm Jimmy Jones, but I'm Jimmy Jones. You wanna tell the person that might be Jimmy Jones? You're Jimmy Jones. I'm also gonna go find I'm gonna go find Love of Effort to this as well. <laughs> How does she get 20? This is gonna go so badly. <laughs> Okay, so you see your difficulty three, telling a guy you don't know but you're Jimmy Jones, when he might be Jimmy Jones. <laughs> um, this is a Jimmy Jones meet up day. Every, every Jimmy Jones is meeting every other Jimmy Jones. <laughs> he, he just shouts back, but I'm Jimmy Jones. <laughs> 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 Is um, this that kid Jimmy again down the street? Yeah, I'm the ganglord's son, and um... Ganglord? <laughs> the, not ganglord exactly, but you know, the crime boss. Crime boss? <laughs> <laughs> You're not reassuring him. You're a drug user, like, what are you so antsy about? Like, <laughs> crime boss? <laughs> <laughs> Drugs one thing, but most people, like, they kill other people. No, they just took people, we just take people hostage, you never actually kill anyone. Hostage? Are you gonna take me hostage? <laughs> no, I just want to buy some drugs. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Why don't we just say that to begin with? I mean... he, he's just like he, <laughs> you can hear him like coming towards the door now, but he, he doesn't like. He probably thinks you're high right now. Like if you're saying you're Jimmy Jones, <laughs> so you can hear him going towards the door, but you don't hear footsteps. You just hear like rolling, and. He like unlatches it and opens it, and you can see like Jimmy Jones, like an old guy in a wheelchair. Well, it's a good thing ah. that the person didn't believe I was Jimmy Jones who was in this. <laughs> Just imagine if you tried to go guns blazing. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really bad. He's like some like eight year old guy in a wheelchair. Like he's got some like tubes attached to him, and like we're coming to like a pack on the back of a wheelchair. You can't quite tell what's in him, but probably drugs. And he's got some like feathers scattered around his stash pad. So you all go in. He lets you in, like <coughs> happy to offer you drugs. Oh, like God forbid, you like you're the police. To get a drug. Yeah. So oh, a particular drug. Very particular drug. A blue feather by the name of. I've forgotten the name. What's the name? Gygax V2. It? That one. Gygax V2. Have you ah, heard yes. of it? Or Gygax V2. I, I had a copy for a bit. And then I had to give it back. What give it back to who? I had to give it back to the gang at the B&B. The gang at the B&B. 
<laughs> Don't you know really the B&B? Bottle Town B&B? Yeah. Bed and Breakfast? Yeah. Bed and Breakfast run by a gang. Never expect it. Uh, can you get it back? It's only temporary, so I could make a bootleg copy. No, but I don't want a bootleg copy. I want the actual thing. I can't give you that. Could you borrow it from them again and give it to us? They wouldn't let me, like... They, they threatened if I even told anyone this, they'd kill me. So you can't let them know I told you. Good. Like, he, he's a bit glazed over. You know, if you're gonna make threats and you're gonna make demands of us, you know, and you haven't even given us anything valuable, you know, we'll make our own decision when we talk to these characters and what we'll do. You're just like, but I didn't threaten anyone. <laughs> <laughs> If anything, Philip, you just came in and wanted to kill him for no reason. <laughs> are, are you saying this? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you for your time, sir. Should we? Uh, should we? Steal? Do, do, do you want to buy anything else? Uh, how much? Well, what do you have? What do you want? I don't really know, I just feel like we've sort of intruded your day and I should just give him some money. <laughs> I think we should bring him with us to the b, &B. What? <laughs> He's in a wheelchair! <laughs> they know him! They know him! <laughs> <laughs> um, since I have free experimental drugs, could I, could I maybe trade for some info? For like how many... how many... Uh, of this gang is in, in the B and B. Um. Yeah. Roll. Roll persuasion. I'll give you. I'll make you specialised in it for this, so you beat at difficulty nine. Um. Yeah. Okay. Except for like. How many drugs are you going to give him, all of them? Uh, well, I'm like, here, the, these are experimental <coughs> drugs. Uh, there's, they, they won't kill you, so I'll take one, and then, so just to make, you know, just to show him it doesn't kill him, and then... You've taken I'll a drug. One. I've taken one. <laughs> and then okay, give me one sec. So, now I have one left. So you've just used a random drug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, roll me a D20. Seven. Okay. So... What happens is you suddenly feel very relaxed like any unhappiness you might have had is just gone you're not anxious about anything just everything everything seems good in the world and it, like he really notices what happened there and he's like i could use some of these and like he just chucks them like behind into a canister that's on the back of a wheelchair like, is he ta he's going to take them for himself, like, right now. Okay. But bear in mind, these three drugs are all different drugs. He doesn't realise that. Um, and so you've given those to him, and you've proved that the one you used is safe. And he tells you a bit about, about the <coughs> Bottle Town gang and their B&B. So... They're quite an old, like, gang family. Seems to be a few gang families in the area, funny enough. And they run a B&B &B for some strange reason, but the general thought is it's as a cover-up for all their criminal activities. But not everyone realises that, I guess, is new to Manchester, or the area, that they are a crime gang. But it is very clearly labelled for Bottle Town B&B. &B. So, Can I ask him if he wanted to come with us to the um, 
for D&D. But they know who he is. We could sort of go in and yeah. like book a room and yeah. then snoop around. If we take the guy with us, they'll know oh. yeah, that we're up to something. He's on good terms with anything. Like we could, I look. mean, it will look a bit more suspicious. A group of really random group of people with this old man all of a sudden turn up and start snooping around. He did tell you that, like, if he told anyone this, they'd kill him. He would die, yeah. I mean, I don't think we should risk taking him with us. Can I ask him if he wants to go with us? Um, go ask him if he wants to go with you, and, like, he just starts spacing out. Like, you actually can't even... Like, the drugs, the combination of the two drugs that he just took couldn't have been good. Whoops. It's, um, actually, it's definitely a good thing that Steve didn't take one of those two. I'll ask him to say nothing if he means yes. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. I'm okay, renting a separate him. room. <laughs> we'll leave him behind, that's fine. Okay, cool. Okay, so you gotta so, leave him. Yeah, we'll leave the house. And I just want to say to the party, I think we should rent a room <coughs> in this B&B and try and snoop around. Because... They 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 might not know that we know that they're crime lords. We could get away with this. All right, but we're doing with esports money, not private detective <laughs> money. I mean, I have money. This is fine. We might even be able to get a free room if they know who I am. I I just fully agree, since I'll just stone out my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you make your way across the street. Bottle Town B and B is like right there, like bright neon sign. Very fancy for a B&B, like, is this what the future gives? So, you go up to it, you go inside. One of the, uh, what you assume to be, like, gang receptionists. Like, yep. greets you as you walk in. He's like, do you need a room? Yes. For how long should we stay here? I guess... We'll start with one night. Just for one night. He's um, muttering to someone else just like to a side and is like, It's Alice! Holy shit, it's Alice! Hello. And they, uh, they ask for your autograph. I happily give them my autograph and just chat away with them about esports. To see if I can get anything out of this. Um, roll me. Just give me a d20 roll. In fact, I'll, I'll do it as um, empathy as well, so you get plus. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> fine. Um, so you're chatting away esports for like. Luna Luna's my favourite character. Oh, I'm so glad. Me too. And we're just like talking to you for like a good 15 minutes. <coughs> yep. Are these guys doing anything in the background? Philip and Steve, you doing anything more of a chatting? I'm just, I'm just really relaxed and still spaced out, I guess. You're I, just like staring this... at the ceiling. How long does this last for? It's a good minutes. question. Oh, it's space out lot. My my experimental relaxing drug. You won't know <laughs> until it's gone. All right. So yeah, I'm just staring at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> What's Philip doing? Um, trying to think of a lie. <laughs> I can't think of any useful lie in this scenario. <laughs> uh, well, but because of the discussions going on between Alice and receptionists, like they offer you like a free. Room for the night. Only oh, one. Thank you so much. Only one. Only That's one. mine. Thanks. <laughs> How many beds? Oh no, I need it for my entourage. Sorry, there's five people. I agree. That, I asked them if I can. <laughs> I say that I um, have a rare condition that means I have to sleepwalk sometimes at night or um, I have violent fits. So will the BB be unlocked at night so that I can wander around? Um, 
What would you call that? Is that persuasion? That's a deception. I don't have this actual condition. That's, mm, it's, it's, mm, okay, roll deception. Beat difficulty three. Um, I'll, I'll give you an extra asset because Alice is there. And because you're with her, I assume like you're trustable and your friends. And we say, oh, that's fine. Um, we'll give you a room too to make you feel comfortable. And doors will be unlocked. Great. I'm so excited someone finally takes sleep aggressive yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, I, I definitely <laughs> He just like <laughs> nods at you, like, yeah, yeah. And I just quickly changed the conversation back to Luna, Luna, in feathers of just... <laughs> yeah. So some time passes, it's quite late now. Okay. So you'd probably want to go up to your room and actually maybe get some rest. <laughs> How long have we got the rooms for? A night. Just one night. Night. Okay. Are we all sleeping in the same bed? What's the deal here? Why? No, you, there's two, two rooms. rooms. <laughs> oh, we have two rooms. <laughs> my entourage is just standing in my room. <laughs> Steve can try to ask for a room, but he is like... He might not quite get still, across right now. He's still he's sitting out. downstairs, like... Oh, you're in my own room, is that right? Yeah. You, you yeah, you get your own room. Into it. He might just be staring at the ceiling the whole night. <laughs> Don't, they haven't moved him or anything. He's just sitting there. Just relax. You could, you could just have your entourage like shove him. I put him into um, Philip's room. Well, my entourage push him into Philip's room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's rest for a few hours until maybe midnight, and then. Okay. Shall we? Uh, yep. Awaken him. Um, yeah. I'll give you. <coughs> Let's see. Hi Scopes, how you doing? Let's Hi, give... Hello. I'll just give you a free one hour recovery roll, so you can each roll a d6 plus one. Or you can press the recovery roll button. Uh, where is this button? Are we recovering for anything? I haven't used anything. Or are you just sleeping? You're just gonna like rest for a few hours. I got seven, what? Um, for where's this recovery? On the, the below your stats. Recovery rolls. Low action. Oh, I see. Well, you don't get plus <coughs> one. So Carlo gets... I, I think the only person who actually used points was Dennis, I think. Anyone yeah. else use any? So Dennis um, got four points, I think that can... Nearly... I, got, I got complications, so that's minus... Yeah, so you, you only get four, recovery. but I think only Dennis actually used anything. Yeah. Yeah, so Dennis can go back to 11 no. intellect. I'm back. I was on 4. Okay. I was on, yeah, I was on 5. I'm now on 9. Yeah, so you're back up a bit. And uh, probably time for a quick break again. So, you're in the BB. It's about midnight now. You've all had a bit of rest, restored points and stuff. Um. Okay. Let's, I'll just assume you had something to eat before. Yeah. What are you doing now that you're all awake at midnight and Just Eve is no longer spacing out? I'm going to tell one of my entourage to lay in my bed. One of them that sort of has the same hair colour as me. So that if are. they come to my room, they might think I'm still sleeping if I get caught. I bet they are so thrilled with this. I bet this is the message. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna like put your headphones around my neck? Like, to, yeah. Like, get cozy? I'm gonna gonna like properly disguise them in my clothes. I switch clothes with them. What are the other? What are they? Um, I mean, what, what if I'm still at the hospital? Is he come back? <laughs> Has he come that, back? We've never heard of him. Um. <laughs> So the last one, I mean, he doesn't know where you are. Oh. No, he's roughly, but he just went back to like... His house? Your, your so safe house. Four. Okay, four, my right? safe house, that's fine. You've just got four so, guys. I just have four. I'm leaving one 
in the bed, and I'm leaving the other two as bodyguards to that one. I see. Have I have I been to bed, or have I just been? <laughs> we put you in out. Dennis's room. Yeah. Yeah, you like oh, you, okay. you were spacing out before, and you probably just like fell asleep on the floor. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a couch. I put. I, I probably put you in the seat or like the chair or whatever they usually have in B and Bs. And yeah. But you've had some rest. You're feeling a bit refreshed and. Yeah. I can't they were so stingy that they saw this esports star and they were like, "How can we cram like, you know, into <laughs> like conditions?" It's, it's not room. like. Is it it's a not nice a top... room? Like, did like, I get a nice room? The nicest thing was the neon sign out front. You should have told your yeah. um, your um, guys to find their own accommodation. That's like, the security is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are mega fans. That's why they're following me. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So, like, you had probably a few hours happy. sleep, and they were just watching you sleep. I tell them that they can nap, but if anyone comes to the room, not to let them in. <coughs> and one of them is allowed to sleep there in the bed. I mean. Okay. Yeah, midnight. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a few hours uh, the night before. Yeah. But. And then okay. I sneak round to uh, Philip and just Steve's room. Dressed in my new attire, which isn't my attire, and knock on the door. Wait, did you swap clothes? I swapped clothes with the person who is now sleeping in my bed. <laughs> I thought it was just like the headphones. Okay. No, no, I swapped all of my clothes. Can I ask you? Did you guys just change, switch clothes? You took off your clothes in front of all your fans, and your fan took off their clothes <laughs> in front of you. Okay, well, them. we switched tops in the bathroom, if you really want to know. Oh, okay. It's another woman, it's okay. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I will let you guys in. Uh, it's just me. Oh yeah, I'll let you in. Okay, so... What's the plan here? What are you gonna do? Well, you could pretend to be sleepwalking around. Well, and yeah, I, it's... as one of the entourage, could be following you. And if anyone questions us, it could be like, sorry, he's sleepwalking, and Alice told me to keep a watch on him. I don't know what to do about just Steve, though. I, think... <laughs> I mean, Steve's, like, fine now. Hmm. I, I don't know how he would come into this plan. <laughs> yeah. I assume they're not up this late at night, so let's just walk out and, and chant to it. And we'll make up a new lie. Uh, and that could be the life that comes up. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, what's going to be the life, sorry? That, that. Uh, I'm sleepwalking and you guys are supervising. I just want to be on the Supervising. Supervising. <laughs> okay. My hope is that I don't get caught because I look like one of my entourage at the moment. Okay. I've so... also put on a hat. <laughs> so Philip's going to pretend to sleepwalk around for B&B. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to act. I'm just going to walk around the B and B, assuming that it's dark. Like, cause you know, if it's dark. I figure people won't recognize. So I'm. I'm not acting. I'm just walking. But the most part, I'm going to be sneaking around. Okay. In the event guess, that we could. I get guess caught. I'll just be following Philip. Excellent. I guess I could be keeping watch over around every corner. So what are you? Where are we, where are we going though? Yeah, where are you going? What are you looking for? Hmm. We're, We're looking, looking for, for the blue feather. feather. Yeah. Okay. Where would that be? I guess it would be in their secret house, which may be in one of their rooms, or it may be... Let's try downstairs first, because that's un like less likely to be occupied if we start walking into the rooms. <laughs> we might get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, and like the dining room, and see if there's any clues. Behind the reception. Yes, right on. Behind the reception is a good chair. Let's take all the keys. <laughs> Okay, so roll a d20, give you an asset to it, uh, just one of you. Okay, who wants to do it? Uh, I'll do it. Go on, Philip. You can yeah, do it, Philip. Okay, so... <laughs> so you'll sleep, fake sleepwalking around, trying to find anything that'll help you work out where this feather is. And you can see, like, near the back of where you came in, there's a locked door. And you, you need a key for it. 
it wouldn't be advised to try and bash it in. Does anyone have a lockpick together in here? Um, what are the doors like? Because I have. Uh, you could try with your utility belt. Or your oh, utility yeah. uh, toolkit. I can try and lock that door. Okay, give me a D20. And I'll, I'll consider it a mechanical task. Oh. Okay, so. It's quite a rundown BNB, like the locks are pretty poor. So you, like. T tell me how you use the utility kit you have in your hand. So I'll point, I'll point on my index finger and it goes. <laughs> like, like R2D2 style. Yep. Just start, just start fiddling around a hole, I guess. You just so start I'm fiddling around the hole. <laughs> And, uh, alright, the door just unlocks. It, it was a cheap lock. God. Nice. So, door's open. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I around the door and see if anyone's inside. It's unlocked, just not open. Oh. Can we open the door very slightly and see if someone's inside? Roll me sneak. It, yeah, do, do you want to do keyhole or do you want to do... I rolled a 19, so let's do Okay, she, she did the sneak of a minor effect. <laughs> so, you sneak... You sneakily open the door, it makes no noise. And... Inside, you can see there's some just like drawers in the table with notes on it and a map and there's no one like there's no one in there should be safe okay. to go in there should be cool. should be okay uh and there's nothing can can we see any sensors or anything that would go off if we went inside um Who do you want to check? Does anyone have anything that would be able to uh, sense that? Not really. Um, we could just walk inside. Them. <clears throat> what are they going to do? They're just not okay. <laughs> I don't want to get caught. <laughs> All right. Wait, um, you're just a fan. Don't forget, you're just a fan. I have... No, but they're not going to be a fan of me after this, are they? <laughs> but no, you're the fan. You're dressed as a fan. I'm dressed as a fan. Yeah, but we still don't want to get caught. Uh, um... I have an asset to mechanical slash electrical task. Ah, but so... Would we be able to detect any sensors or anything in the room oh, yeah. then? Yeah, so okay. Carla can roll his asset. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Roll it. Oh, Didn't shit. need it. Um, yeah, you see quite a high-tech security system. Okay. Like, it, you oh. would, like, it would have been very, very, very easy to miss it. How does it work? Okay. Is it like lasers or what? Can we see what it's connected to so we can disable it? You can see to the side of the door, which you think, like, this must be actually a pretty bad location to put this. There's a, <laughs> uh panel that can be used to control that system. Doesn't Alice have a thing that disables security systems? Alice got rid of it, but Steve still has one. Oh yeah, I have Steve one. Steve has one, yeah. Excellent. I guess I'll go use it. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, so you use your computer mic mount, which is this. So stream can see, I'll do that. That's a small dirt termite mound for black and white termites. Used to hack and control complex computer security systems. Uh, awesome. Number of rounds equal to, so it's level three, so you get it for three rounds. So that's about three minutes. Okay, okay. let's make quick work of this. Quickly walk <coughs> in and try and get a blue feather. Alright, so you're gonna search for him? Yes. Roll me search each year. 
Okay. Search. Which one would be search? Just a d20. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Um, instead of getting good rolls now. Just a, a general search. Can I use my decipher skill to try and like understand the map that's on the table? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and it will cost me one intelligence point. There's my roll. Guess it cost you a decipher. Um, hey, oh, yeah, yeah. So, make an intellect roll, Dennis. Okay. Ray. So Is you beat a difficulty four, Carlo beat a difficulty two, and Alice got a minor effect. Okay. So <coughs> Philip's examining the map and it points to a studio somewhere nearby. Not sure why it points to it, but it's just clearly marked on the map. Then just Steve searching around and he finds a cipher. Um I'm just gonna quickly see what you get. <clears throat> so sixty-two you find Potty cement. Potty cement. Yep. So what that does paste it in right so the ball of robbery glue wrapped in a sheet of plastic when the plastic's removed the ball can be smashed against anything to glue it to something else the strength of a bond is stronger than steel but decays over time Pays off to one hour per level. So if I roll the level, so it will decay. Yeah, after four hours it decays. So you can glue something with a stronger bond from steel for four hours. So does that replace my computer mic now? Yes. Yeah, because you've used okay. that. Yeah, it's level four. So good. you got that. And then Alice, with her minor effect, yeah. You search in the drawers and there's notepads that describe a pathfinder. Okay. And through the notes it is suspected that this pathfinder would have the feather you need. Feather you're after. Okay. Pathfinder a person or a thing? Your pathfinder is a person. They're not so here. The notes mention that they're at the location marked on the map. Studio. Well, let us step out of this room and discuss our next course of action. I'll also take the map. Yep, so you've got about... You're all at the room, yeah? Yep. Okay. So you're at the room and the security system reactivates. Just makes we'll a small beep. Behind us. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Let's close the door. And, uh, Shall we just go back to our rooms and finish out the night with it? As if nothing happened, yes. <laughs> cool. Um, Switch my clothes back with my <laughs> person and get back into my bed. Um, okay. Are you going to go back to sleep? Yes. yes. Alice going to swap clothes with the entourage again? Yeah, I'm switching back with my clothes and getting back into the bed and tell them they can go to sleep for the night, but... The entourage has been asleep for like half an hour and you wake him up like, mate, Get out of my bed. Yep. Well, they sleep in the s sofas in the room and wherever they can find comfy. So... Night goes through and in the morning you're woken up. Someone's knocking on your door. On my door? Yep. 
I open up the door. There is a big dog man there. Uh-huh. Like, he's frothing a bit out of the mouth. Gross. And he, just, he asks you if you know anything about the theft last night. Uh, I ask what's been stolen. I don't know anything about it, though. He says he can't tell you, but the room behind the reception was opened, Damn and there's stuff everywhere, and a few things missing. Oh. I say I didn't even know there was a room behind the reception. I wish I could help. Roll me. Let's see. Just give me an intellect roll. He's not convinced and he barges in. Okay. <laughs> Into your room? Yep. Into my room. But I so, wasn't anywhere last night, I was in bed. The Philip and Steve can hear it from the other room. Okay. If anything, one of my entourage is going to get taken. <laughs> this large dog man just barges in and he starts rummaging through all your belongings. Oh my god. That's fine, because I don't have anything. Um, I will go in from my... No, 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 you, sh you shouldn't go in. Because <laughs> I don't have anything. Right. Oh. But you guys do. <laughs> so you shouldn't come in. Because <laughs> you guys took the stuff. I Wait, no, what do I have? No, I don't have anything. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, you found the notes, but who took them? Well, we didn't need to take them because it just said that we need to find a Pathfinder. Dennis took the um, map. I didn't okay. actually take the notes, I just remembered it. So... You're just going to let him rummage for your stuff, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I have nothing to hide. Alright, some time passes, he's going through and he doesn't find anything. And then he goes to Phillips and Steve's room. <laughs> I call him out and say, I better get some compensation for that. <clears throat> he just, like, growls and ignores you. <laughs> um... He knocks very loud on Philip and Steve's door now. He's, he's getting pretty annoyed because you gather this is some important stuff that was taken. So he's just like, Open the fuck up! Well, let him in. <laughs> you let him in. The door. <laughs> um, can I try uh, lying to him? Specifically, what? can I say that um, I was sleepwalking last night and um, there was a guy in a wheelchair uh, over at the, it looked like there was an office or something back there. I just, I was woken up by it. So um, I just wanted to report that to you as quickly as possible, because I know it seemed very odd that he was up so late um, and he was clearly awake and he was like fiddling with the lock or something like that on the door. Roll deception. <laughs> You're gonna kill the old man <laughs> for no reason. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he he knows he knows you're talking about Jimmy, and Jimmy Jones, and he's he's gonna kill Jimmy Jones. But the only way, like he he links up in his mind. He just thinks immediately, like Jimmy Jones. The feather, he must have told you, he's going to try and kill you now. Okay. So, uh, roll me initiative. <coughs> All of us? I'm not in the room. Alice isn't there. Okay, so it's just me and... Uh... She could, um... Can I, can I do something, though, before this happens? Yeah, so you're in the other room. He's like in the doorway <laughs> of their room, so you could come up behind him potentially and do something. No, I was gonna. Well, I'll do that eventually. But I was gonna send one of my entourage because I can still hear what's going on, can't I? He's pretty loud. I'm and I'd expect because he's my... so loud, other people might come. I'm gonna tell one of my entourage to quickly try and run, and get Jimmy Jones out of his house and into a safe location. <laughs> okay, so you send one of your entourage off and he goes, like, leg it for Jimmy Jones' sash pad. Yeah. Okay. 
and then I listen to what's happening to see what my next move will be. Alright, so Philip and Steve, roll your initiative. Sick. Did you just... Wow. Yeah, roll 20. No, I had... Wow. Um, had plus six. Okay, so it's going to go... Philip, like, the bouncer, like, gang, dogman, guy, and then Steve. Should I roll initiative so I can go if I need to? Or should I just go last, because I'm not in the room? Go last. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take out my revolver and shoot him. Okay. <laughs> Um, purely because, purely because you got a 20 on the initiative, um, I'm going to make it so you hit no matter what. Awesome. Wow. Uh, so just a straight up four damage, is that correct? Um, yes. And I'll also give you half another action. Um, I want to, like, maybe hide behind the bed or something like that. So you've, like, whipped out your pistol, still... shot him. Yeah. Like the old no, west. Like, dive over and then you, like, dive behind the bed. Yep. Okay. You got five shots. So, he's taking some damage. He's, um, quite, he's quite surprised. Like, he didn't <laughs> think he'd re to. retaliate so quickly <laughs> and so, like, <laughs> aggressively. Even though he was, like, he's he ready to kill you. Everyone in the B&B has heard this. Like, a whole, like, more people are coming. You don't know how many. But there's got to be more like him. Um, and you just dived behind the bed. Yep. So, <clears throat> now, because he's just so shocked at what you did, Steve's just standing there. <laughs> and he's going to take, take a swing at Steve. So, he's going to pull out, let me just decide what weapon he's going to pull out. So, this is probably the least efficient way of finding the equipment. <laughs> that is. Back to a PDF. Okay. He's going to whip out Equipment 98 Alright So he's got a uh, 12 gauge shotgun on his back He's just going to like Pull it round And take a shot At just Steve Um, Steve, roll a... Roll, roll your trained of that armour to dodge out of the way of a shotgun blast. Uh, boom. So did I just roll out of the way? You managed to roll out of the way. And it's a good thing you did. Because if you didn't, you'd probably be on your knees right now. So it is now Steve's turn. Um, okay. Would it, okay. Can I throw the potty cement at his, as his, like at his eyes? God. <laughs> Me. Well, I, mean, I mean, I'm guessing he's he's out of range to like punch or anything, right? I mean, he's like right next to you. Oh, okay. Not I a mean, big room. I, I guess I'll just take it out and slap it in his eyes. You're not gonna throw it. You're literally just gonna like run up to him, like. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll me a mite. 
attack. Oh. You run up to him with uh, body cement, and he anticipates what you're going to do. And grabs your hand, and you just drop it. It's, it's not used. Okay. You just don't have it right now. Okay. Then it moves on to Alice's turn. I don't know where I should go in, because if I go in and they know I'm involved with this and I lose some fans, and that's quite important to Alex. Ah, uh, Alex even. Uh, I could sneak out of the building. And leave us to die. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, let me have a look. How many are the? How many people are there coming to the room? You don't know. Can I open the door and have a look? Yeah, they're not there yet. You can just hear them like running towards the stairs. No, send one of my entourage to go down and have a look. Oh no, because something won't be able to talk to me. Okay, uh... Let me see. I... Sneak up behind... Is it a dog man? Did you say? Giant dog man, yep. Yeah. I sneak up behind a giant dog man. And go to shoot him with my... Revolver. With your antique revolver? Yep. Good. You go to shoot him, so are you gonna shoot him or are you just gonna like threaten him? I wanna hold the gun up behind his back and say, like, stop this or I'll shoot. Roll me intellect. To see if you intimidate him. Yeah. <laughs> um. He's fucking scared right now, like, no one's ever got a better room like that before, no one's ever just come up behind him. He just, like, drops his shotgun right there. Nice. He's like, please don't kill me. I've got two, two little puppers. Oh. <laughs> I tell him to uh, go and tell the others to stop coming for us. He, like, just quickly sprints for, like, the stairs. Like... Stop him. Nice. <laughs> uh, so that's combat anyone... over. Yep. <laughs> Alice saves the day again. Yep, so and Steve Jimmy's keeps possibly his... safe. Yeah. Well. Steve keeps his uh, cipher. Jimmy's got an entourage going towards him to like wheel him away. Can I take the shotgun from the ground? <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Is anyone going to take sure. that? Excellent. Cool. It's a uh, heavy weapon, so it does 12 damage. Holy shit. But you're not trained in it, so it'd be one step harder. Yeah. Okay, is, is anyone trained in heavy weapons? I am not. No one is. We could sell it. I'll keep it for now. I'll put it in my inventory in that case. Yeah. You can still use it, it's just one step harder. Yeah. yeah. So you just nicked uh... this dog man's shotgun too. <laughs> well, he dropped it. I'm going to suggest we leave... Promptly, and no one knows that I was really involved in this. I feel like the dog man isn't going to tell anyone because he's so scared of me. Um, we can do that, but we paid for breakfast. Well, we didn't pay, but <laughs> we didn't pay. <laughs> we are entitled to breakfast. It is right. It's right now a good time for breakfast. We're not getting breakfast. We're going to sneak out. My entourage will get us out. There's only two of them now, but we can How are you going to sneak out, out if they're up the stairs? Is well, there? isn't he telling them to leave? Is it's there a failing. fire exit? There has to be a fire exit, because that's health and safety. I mean, this is a rundown b and that used to be a chemical plant. <laughs> Gonna report <laughs> them to the police. <laughs> I mean, the raid's coming, don't worry. Um... As this is happening, you hear a loud knocking on the front door. It's for police! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh... As there's going to be a load of commotion with all the people running around trying to deal They've with the They've just police. bashed the door down. Can't we just sneak out? Because we're, we're innocent. 
Are you? I mean, we I'm shot a guy. It's true. I, I didn't shoot anyone, though. I just threatened to shoot him. <laughs> Philip did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. <clears throat> well, I mean, you did though. I can get out with my entourage. <laughs> Is there a secret exit? How high up are we? You're on the first floor. You could probably jump down I from a window. Just jump out the window, then. Even though I believe I'm innocent. So the police are currently on the front, but they're starting to surround it, so you'd have to take her back quickly. Let's do that. I guess I'll follow uh, Alice. Oh. Alright, so all of you... Um... Jumping out the window. Yeah, roll <laughs> me... <laughs> roll me speed. I am having lucky rolls now. I will apply a level of, of, of effort to this one. Oh, oh, sorry, I have an edge, so I get an effort. Anyway. Wait, do you have an edge to both? An edge to... Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I think I only have an edge to one. I don't know why there's an edge to both in this character sheet. So you got no edge in speed? Yeah, I shouldn't have an edge in speed. So you're all minus so... three on that. So you beat difficulty two. Sucks. Okay, so... <clears throat> so Alice Where's and it? Steve make it out of a window and like they're starting to run. Just for a safe place away, all in the same direction. Philip jumps out, but sprains his ankle. <laughs> Wait, no, he doesn't sprain his ankle, he just like stumbles a bit. And he can take one additional point from his speed. So that puts you on nine, I think. And then he's starting to get around, you'll slow down a bit. But, thankfully, good old police informant sees you first. Hey. <laughs> and he just like, you're far enough away where he can stand in the line of sight and they won't see you. And so he gives you enough time to just get away. Nice. Informant Morse. Yep, informant Morse. The real bro. <laughs> He'd be a great <laughs> inspector. Like... You could have killed a guy in there. It's like he wouldn't know yet. <laughs> so, he didn't. <laughs> you're you're all safe away from police now. So what are you gonna do? I think we, we should go go. Yeah. to the uh, studio thing, don't we? You're gonna yeah, head to the studio. Find what's his face? <clears throat> the name that my character totally remembered. Pathfinder. The Pathfinder. That's it. Yeah, so the studio is in a rundown industrial neighbourhood in Ardwick. And. Oh, wait, is our safe house on the way to it so I can pick up my guy that got lost on the way? No. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're down two, two right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm down two, I'm on three. All those guys had to make the jump at the window as well. Like, <laughs> they were fine. <laughs> they were <seeing> <laughs> fine. <laughs> Like, your, your no, crazed no, no. entourage are just so happy, like, they, they will not leave your side. Yeah. They don't care what I do, I nearly shot a man, they were like, oh my god. Yeah. They, it's they, amazing. They, they just, like, were amazed, were like, she it's can, like she can play games life. and fight. They just know. fucking gobsmacked. Okay. So... Somehow I still have fans. You're gonna make your way to the studio, yeah? Yeah. Right, so you make your way there. It's not too far away, but it takes about half an hour. Nothing interesting walking? happens. Yeah, you just you just walk in there. Okay. Nothing happens on the way there. It's fine. All, all the fun was at the Rover Fair, apparently. So Fair you get there, and you don't see anyone in sight. Quite a large studio, like loft. You can't see in the windows, they're all darkened. There's no, like, guards anywhere. But there is... quite a high-tech security system, again. So, uh, this was those termites. Uh, damn it. Okay. Already used it. Can't use it again. 
Yeah. Oh. You, you, you suspect no one's actually home right now. Okay. Could we, we could leave my two, no, my three entourage out as lookouts and they can just make a noise if anyone comes by so we know to escape. So you, you're going to have like the three entourage just scout the area a bit and like keep an eye for yeah. you? Yeah. If they okay. see anything, they can shout and then run away because they won't want to come back. What, what are they going to shout? Fine. Is there a safe word? Um. Do they whistle? Word? They're like, they it's shout just shout name. Luna Luna. Luna Luna. That that won't be said by anyone, I can't imagine. Um. <laughs> okay, they always shout Luna Luna if anything happens. <laughs> okay, cool. We've done that, uh... what are you going to do now? How are you going to get in? Or are you going to do something else? So is there any doors? Or There's just... doors, but I mean, if you probably... To get to it, there's like quite high security, there's like a fence or barbed wire on top. There's some cameras that might detect you, unless you attempt to sneak by pretty well. well I'm gonna sneak by. You could attempt to disable security, of course. But that would it's, only I work for one good. of you getting by. You'd have to get by first to do it. Okay. But I could sneak by and try to disable the camera. I... I, I have a sneaking skill, but it's whether it works or not. Like, Philip or Steve could it. assist you in it, so you get an extra asset to it. Okay, should we try that? Sure, we'll assist you. Okay. Cool. Should I do sneaking first then? Yeah. Okay, you get past. Fine, like, cool. you just. Cameras, like, looking in the other direction as you go past. There was a small gap in a fence you snuck through. Okay. But hey, while that's... doing it, you drop your headphones that you have. Oh no. They're stuck in between. And it's not no. safe to go get them back without oh, trying to sneak again. Look. It's a brand deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my aesthetic. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I will from Logivert. Logivert. Please use my affiliate link. I get some money. For <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, you made it past. You can now attempt to disable security. I'm not the only person who has such headphones. I won't be the only suspicious person. It's fine. Uh, okay. You can disable. Hmm? Uh, oh, should wait. I try to disable? You're the only one there who, like, unless they sneak I through. Was... Have they sneaked through, though? Because I was oh, only you for did. assistance in doing it. They supported right. you in doing it by, like, I suppose chucking leaves in front of a camera. <laughs> well, can one of them grab my headphones after I try to disable the camera? Only if they sneak through. Only if they sneak through. But they're going to have to sneak through eventually anyway. Yeah, but you're up the thing to try and disable it. Okay. Well, I'll try and disable it. What would I need to roll intellect? Yeah. You disable security. Yeah. yeah it's, not the whole, it's not the whole area. It's not where you left the headphones. It's just what? a side part. So, where can we get into with this just disabled then. So you're like around the loft now and you can just pretty much enter via a window. Okay. Let's enter via a window then. We'll do that. Okay. So you're all gonna get in via window. There's, as suspected, there's no one home. Just pitch black. Um. Do you want to turn a light on or anything? Can we see anything without the light? Pitch, like, pitch black. Yeah, we'll turn the light on. Because it's still, um... Well, it's, it's morning, but inside, like, the windows are all tinted black, so... Okay. 
I'll turn a light on. Okay, you turn the light on. And you can see, like, various feathers, like, just thrown across the room with all different colours. There's pinks, there's greens, there's blues. Ah. A good mix. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. It's not for taking all of these so we can sell them later. Yeah. You want to take all but feathers? We want to be able to. We want to know which one is the feather that we need, though. Yeah, we also want to know. You can't tell if they've been used before. Also, Pathfinder's a person. We haven't found this person. Yeah, there appears okay, to be no one home. Okay, well, we will hold off stealing until we actually find some. What you do notice is, across the loft, there is a bunch of dream weaving equipment. You know it to be. All smashed. What's dream weaving equipment? Used to, like, make the feathers. Oh, okay. Um... Hmm. <clears throat> Can I can I use my R two D two thingamajig to learn about it? Or like learn about. Um, <laughs> you can use. I mean, you have an asset to mechanical and electrical tasks. Yeah. Yeah. Roll that. Michelle. Yeah. Okay, so you you jack in. Good. And you uh. <laughs> You jack in and you can tell that this was the equipment used to make Gargax B2. Like, yes. a surge just goes through you. And you just realise. Gargax B2! So, so as it's it smashed up, we can't recreate it. No. Okay. So we need, so we need to find... You need to find the Pathfinder or, like, a, the feather somewhere, yeah. Can we so, search the room? Is there yeah. anything like trained? What would you need to be trained in to be able to identify the feather? You can, you can just search. You okay, we'll just search then. Um, okay. Each of you roll. D20? Yeah. For yours, I'll give you a plus because it's mathematical. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, Carla, some very good rolls, guys. <laughs> okay, so all right. So <laughs> most of the feathers are all just used up, but you find one, and on like the stem of the feather, you can very clearly see it says Gygax B two. Yeah. You've got a copy. We need three. You, you can all use the same. Oh, okay. You just like, you just shove it in, take it out, shove it in, take it out, shove it in, yeah. First. Tomorrow for life. This is the future. <laughs> this is the future. Um, we sh maybe we shouldn't take this here, where like the... No, I wouldn't suggest taking it here. I would sneak out and go back to our secret base. Mm. Okay, so... As you're talking. GM intrusion. Oh no. I'm gonna give... 1 XP to... Alice. And she can give 1 XP to someone else. For... Uh, whatever reason she wants. Oh, 1 XP, I see. Um... I'll give it to Carlo, because he just figured out the thing. Okay, so Carlo found... The feather, so he gets one XP. Yeah. All right. So, Thank you. as you're talking, three cultists, or what appear to be cultists, walk in, holding your headphones. I uh, know. <laughs> you, you're probably wondering what happened to your entourage. Yeah, what happened? You don't know yet. Okay. But there's three cultists. In there, staring straight at you. Dead. What do they look like? We got like dark robes on. One of them you can clearly see is part dog. One of them is part vert, has tentacles coming from his face. Oh. The other one looks like a normal person, but there could be shadow, you don't know. 
They don't can look I... like they're going to talk to you. Can I lie to them? Don't look like you can try, but they don't look like they're going to talk to you. Okay, I'm going to give it a go anyway. I'm going to say, um, Hey, brothers, uh, you obviously anticipated us because you smashed this equipment, and that's exactly what we were here to do, to smash this equipment, because we also don't like this man. Um, so, well done. Um, hope we can be friends. <laughs> And I will Bro. Buy a also, I would like my headphones back. And also, um, we could take those heathen headphone things to dispose of. Um, and I will apply a level of intellect to try and tell this lie. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> That's so sad. They say they know who all three of you are. She who goes by Alice, Philip Marley, <coughs> and quote unquote just Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we know these oh, headphones belong to you. I and we want you to hand over a feather. In exchange um, for the headphones? They're not giving you the headphones back. What the why are we gonna give it to you then? <laughs> They'll beat the shit out of you. You'll beat the shit. Uh huh. Sure. What happened what? to my entourage? They're dead. Jesus. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. They're only prepared to beat the shit out of us. Like, they won't kill us. They'll just beat the shit out of us. But they were happy to kill. I suspect they'll probably yeah, kill sorry. you too. <laughs> he said beat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they will beat you so much, you might as well be dead. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, like, I would not be a fan of Alice's. Like, you just killed three of your fans. So they're all Can holding, I... they're all holding blood, like bloody cricket bats. What? Can I quickly cast hedge magic on the feather that we have and change the color of it so they don't know which one we have? Sure. I'll change it, it to work. what's the what's the least rare one? I mean, it, it's the least rare color already. <coughs> okay, we'll just change it to the second least rare color so that they don't know that we have that color. Because they know it's blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll change the color. So you change it to you're going to change it to a pink pornographic one or a black, like fuck you up one. I'll change it to a pink pornographic one. They might feel awkward about it as they're cultists. That's what cultists they are. <laughs> um. Okay, so I want you to try and stealthily do this. Okay. Who actually has the feather? Is it Carlo? Yeah. I'd assume oh, so. Uh, Steve. Okay. Can I quickly... How are you holding it? There needs to be so they're it's, not able just, to see. Well, my hands my hands are like behind my back. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, just holding the feather. Okay. I am going to step behind him and try to cast the magic without them noticing. And I sort of nudge uh, Philip to keep talking crap to distract <laughs> them. <laughs> Okay, and give me a roll. What roll do you want? Speed or yeah? What would it be? I don't know this. So you've okay. changed color of the feather. What are you gonna do now? Uh, okay. Well, we haven't found the feather yet. We don't know where it is or what it looks like. We just know it's a blue feather, so we haven't taken anything. Is Steve going to do anything with the changed colour feather? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just hide it in my pocket, I guess, in my three-piece suit. <laughs> Good luck finding it in the layers. 
But I guess my hands are behind my back, so I guess I. Just... Okay, so they, they don't believe you. Back pocket. Oh. And they, uh. They're gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Roll initiative. I think we're in a bit of a sticky wicket. I think he's just talking to someone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. oh wow. Again? <laughs> yes. Well, we what? could take a quick break because it's full. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a quick break. Let's go back, friend. So, intermission over. And I've actually stopped your music on time this time because I remembered. Ooh. So, we're in combat. Yes. Philip Marley's going first. Then Just Steve. Then Alice. And then the three cultists. Very well. What are we doing? Um, it's eating an ASMR. I'm shooting. I'm shooting the... How many cultists are there? Three? Is that correct? Three. Three. Do they all look more or less the same or is there any like leader? Yeah, so you, you could tell that one of them was clearly a dog man or dog woman. That's, that's not one that spoke. Um, there's one which... This looks normal, but could be shadow. And then the one that did speak is all like verti, has like tentacles. You have no idea what else could be under that rope. I'm gonna shoot that, the first person. Okay. Um, so it's interesting. I'm gonna have it so that you can like quick fire all three of them. Because you rolled a 26. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. It, it will, well, if you choose to do that, it will only do half the damage, but you'll hit all of them. I'll still do that. Yeah. Okay, so like, describe to me how you whoop out your revolver and like quick fire on three of them. One sec. Are you McCree? I do it like a cowboy, where I like whip it out and I pull the, <laughs> the handle back just in it. And then I fired them off. Um, and, um... There's some quality ASMR. <laughs> yeah, I give it the, um... I give it the old western thing anyway, of like, putting the the hammer back and firing. You, you, you're not like, it's Hanun or anything, no? Uh, <laughs> um... I do say that, yes. <laughs> Alright, so you, you're like, you do that, you're like, it's high noon, and they're like, high noon, <laughs> to drugged up, and then you like, shoot them all in, like, a across them, and we're all just like, go back a bit, and we're like, clearly in a, quite a bit of pain now. Need up. So. You did it, boy. Now, what oh, is I'm gonna Justine? Go and, I'm going to go and, Woody, a karate chop on one of them. Going to karate chop one of them. Yeah. If you're a... Uh, Golden knuckles. Oh, get... my golden knuckles. Okay. Uh, do the attack attack my golden brass knuckle things? Uh, yes. Okay. Before you press it, if you haven't pressed it yet, if you yeah. want to increase the chance you'll hit or increase the damage, you can apply a level of effort. You just have to reduce two from your might pull. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you can. Increase for damage by, I think three. Or okay. you can. Why well, do you want to do more damage or a higher chance to hit? Oh uh, no, I'll do. I'll do a higher chance to hit. Okay. So we take two out of your might. Yeah. Yep. If you press that, knuckles yep. now. Okay. Which one were you going for? The, uh, the doggo. The, doggo. The, the doggo. Okay. Um, describe to me how you knock from the fuck out. So, while they're all surprised and confused and sort of in pain of the high noon coming, I'll just, I'll just go with that. A quick chop. Do you look, I like how you froze when saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, it was going so fast. 
<laughs> um, right, so you're decking basically. Nice. He's on the ground. That one's gone. That's out of it. It is now Alice's turn. So one of them is on the ground. Yep. The other two are still up. Yep. Rules hurt okay. a bit. Rules hurt a bit. Um, I'll use force point on what order are they in? What's like left to right? Who's on the ground? Still goes on the ground. Tentacle monsters still there, and normal potentially shadow still there. Uh, I'll attack the vert creature. Yeah, he's the one that spoke before. <laughs> yep. And okay. I assume they're the one who has my headphones. Yeah, he's holding your headphones. Getting him. So roll the attack of that. Is it just... I think it's under oh. attacks. Yeah, attacks no. intellect. Oh, and attack. Oh, I see, I see. Under your revolver. Okay. And that does four points of damage. Describe to me how he's also on the ground. It's... The attack is... Wait, no. Map of logical is so you create a small but focused gravitational distortion. So it would hit him on the chest and he on impact bounces back and just drops to the ground. Would it's it kill him? Good. No, it just hurts a lot. Okay, so he's just like writhing in pain, he's can't do wiped anything. Out. Yep. Yeah. Unconscious. And drops my headphones, I assume. Yep. He drops the headphones, like he's fallen back and he's ne there's just one left. So the shadowy one, well, what could be shadowy, takes his hood down, and you can clearly see he's pissed off. There's like shadows going from both eyes, yep. and you get the idea he's on some really fucking intense, like, stimulant. And he's going to take a bit more to take down as well. So he is pretty much, well I mean, Just Steve ran up to the other guy and decked him. But, so Just Steve's right next to him. And this guy has a cricket bat. You couldn't tell before, but it's a spiked cricket bat. Okay. And he's going to take a swing at Just Steve. <coughs> so I would like Steve to roll. He's trained without armor to, de to uh, uh, dodge it. I also have melee defense speed. <coughs> okay, yeah. So he swings the cricket bat at you yeah. and lodges it right in your chest. Like it's stuck now because of the spikes. And you suffer Jesus. nine points of of speed damage. Holy God! Okay. So don't do mind us that for my speed, yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Like he means fucking business. And then he he does pull the cricket bat back out, and you are now bleeding every turn. Jeez. So it, it'll stay as it is right now, but next turn you'll be one less, and then so on, <laughs> until it's stopped. Alrighty. And you might make it worse if you move a lot. <laughs> so, it is now Philip's turn. Okay. Um, I've only got two shots left in my revolver, so I'm hesitant to use it. Um, tell you what, I'll give you the shotgun a go. Okay. Um, if you're in that close to combat, it should be easier. How many uh, bullets does the shotgun have? 
Um, it's a 12 gauge, so it's. I think now. Let's say it can fire. Carlo. Oh, no. How many bullets in a 12 gauge? <laughs> you know this. It depends. Probably eight. Okay, eight. Does it fire just one at a time, or is it two? Uh, fires just one. Okay. At a time. Okay. So you can fire I one. I set myself to have an ability. Is that right? With that? Uh, you can add it as weapon. Oh yeah, I just did, and then yeah, and it's twelve damage. damage. Put a mod of minus one. I think that's used for all the. Uh... Yeah, it should be it. I can't put in minus one. Just leave it as it is then. Leave it as zero. Press that if you undo it. Tell me how you missed. <laughs> um, I'm like, it takes me a while to like get the shock. Like I have it slung over my shoulder or whatever, so I um, take it out, but I'm kind of like firing and like aiming the shot in the same movement. And um, consequently, I fire too high and I hit like a light fixture or something like that. Okay. <laughs> so it's just like a shattered light bulb just drops like around the area. Oh. Glass everywhere. It's now... Steve's. <laughs> am I, am I like, sort of, like, dying? No, not yet. Okay. You'll be in, you'll so be in pain, have... but you're just, like, yeah. Have I got the quicker bat impaled on me still? No, no, you took it out. But you Okay. If you move... Well, uh, minus one to your speed right now. Yeah. Because you're bleeding out. And if you try to make too much movement, you'll bleed out more. Um. I don't know. Can I use the potty cement to like stop the bleeding? I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> okay. You can, um, but it also might, you know, just grip you together completely. You'd be paralysed for four hours. Okay. Uh, don't know what to do. Can I go? Can I go in for like a dodge or something? You want to dodge? I'll roll out of the way, or just like I don't know, get get away from him. Just crawl away. Um. Yeah. What what position are you in right now, Philip? Just so I know. How close were you before with a shotgun? Be a lip. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I guess um, that's like medium um, range away from him. Um, like mm, maybe like length of two people lying down. Okay. Um, what did you want to do again, Carlos? Sorry. Get away, crawl away, or something. I mean, you're not on the ground or anything. You're still standing. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like if I if I try going for, so you, you, see, you don't want to try and hit him. No, I just want to get away. Okay. Um, there's like a table nearby. You could knock it over and hide behind it. I mean, he is holding a cricket bat, so. I guess I can just try it. I don't know. I don't. I got. I'll go. I'll go for an attack. Fuck it. You're gonna go for attack, okay? Yolo. Yolo. Roll your brass knuckles. Here we go. Yes. Do you want a major effect or do you want plus four damage? Uh, plus four damage. Just to give you an idea of what a major effect could be. You might do a major effect that like makes it so everyone else does more damage to him, or you could stun him. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, he's pretty jacked up, right? Like, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go for the major effect. What what effect do you want to do to him? Uh, How is he anyone? impacted some way? Um, don't know. I guess he's. You could knock him to the ground. Like and, and like... daze him for his next turn. Just yeah, just like a little day, so then you know a lot of people can do more damage, I guess. Okay, so describe to me how you knock him the fuck down. So what while I'm like one hand on my you know, bleeding chest. Just give him a quick kadoosh. Right in temple. And then uh a little bit dazed. Alright, so he flies off his feet a bit backwards and like he's down and he ain't gonna be getting up for a time for a bit. People can just wail on him for a while. Okay. So now it is... Who's someone next? What do I get for not having an initiative tracker? I think it's me. Yeah. He's on the ground. Or is he... He's on the ground. Can't defend himself. So I'll, I'll give everyone as well an asset to hitting him. I pick up my headphones first. Stricter, okay. I have priorities. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. It's part of my brand. Put them on. Um, can we question him at all? You can try. So I want to ask him where the Pathfinder is. Um, he just tells you in a bit of a wispy voice because he's hurt quite a bit now and like on the ground um that's why we were here trying to find him oh. okay uh i'm not bothered about finishing these people off because i like to avoid violence where possible and i just go to leave I likes to avoid that. violence plays the moba just, yeah, we should I mean, uh, in video games, it's different. Why did you attack us? Um. Wait, is it your turn? Well, no, are we doing this in turn still? I thought, I thought we were back to combat. No, it's still in combat. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, you know. so I can ask. Unless, you, unless you want to stop for combat. Well, are we going to uh, continue attacking him? Oh, we're just gonna leave him. Him. There's still two others, don't forget. Well, they're, they're both down as well. Yeah. I mean, we could just run. But I think we should question them. Okay, well, we can question them then. If everyone's happy to leave combat. We should switch to the door so we can make a quick escape. Should I'm by like, the door. Let's just at least knock out two of them. Would that be acceptable? So that they're not like three of them aren't getting back up. I turn away and say, do what you want. <laughs> While this is happening, you can hear running towards you from outside. Uh, um... Is the door open? Yeah. Or is it shut? They can we can see, see they what's can... running towards us. You can see there's about five more guys. Okay. Five about... more cultists. Could be cultists, could be police, don't know. <laughs> can, I can I try and grab... Uh, grab one of them, the nearest, like the lightest looking one. Try to try and pick him up and run away with him. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me might. Okay, Does anyone want to assist you in this? And yeah, do you want to? Uh, I guess that's a no. Uh, I mean. <laughs> no, no. I, I want. I mean, Carl, like Steve, could bleed out more if he helps you. I want to apply. So but if I apply one damage, really strong. Hmm. So, all right. So what are you gonna do? Uh, so one level of effort is free because I have an edge, and if I play another one, is that cost me three might? No, you cannot. You only have one level of effort. Oh damn! But it costs okay. you one point less. Not. It's not a free. Well, it's not free, okay, so... so It'll cost two you points. two. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that, obviously. Okay, so... You... 
attempt to pick up the scrawniest looking one, which is actually the one who had the headphones. Okay. The the E type one. And you pick him up quite easily. He's very light. Like but very light, like something's wrong here. Okay. But okay, you're holding this guy. Um, what now? Let's get, the, let's get the fuck out of Dodge so that we can question yeah. him. I'm gonna sneak out and try and go undetected. Can I turn back on the security system? Um, did you turn back on the security system? No. That's how they got to you. Can I turn it back on now? Yes, but then how are you getting out? Hey guys, should we turn on the security system and maybe that will deal with these people that are outside? What's the security system do? gonna do? It's just gonna detect it to whoever wants it to come here and isn't that them? Possibly. Although the Pathfinder presumably owns this apartment, so maybe he has like turrets or something to keep away these people who are looking for. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shall we sneak back to the security system and come out the way we came? But then that's the way they came, because that's how they found my headphones. Yeah, so wait, these, those people came, but these people might have come a different way. But what's to say there's not more people coming? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so what's the what's the play? Um, I mean, we can just tell the Pathfinder when we find a Pathfinder that there's cultists coming after him. I mean, okay, I'm sure he's not going to come back here on his own when there's like ten people at his house. Uh, just what's the best exit route? How many exit routes are there? Do you want to search? Yeah. It, it is like daytime. Yeah. Yeah. I just. So. I'm not sure what the. Just, do, just do me a quick roll. Funny. Just yeah, just an intellectual. It's the wrong one. That was a D two. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slightly better. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you did can... you want intellectual? No. It, it'll be fine anyway. Um. Yeah, you can see there's very clearly, round the back, there's an area that you can sneak through quite easily. Let's go that way. Okay, I'll, I'll follow uh, the sneaking expert. Uh, yeah. I'll just, I'll just Should I assist? You, well, when, uh... I, when I say sneak, I mean, because the security system only covered part of it before we disabled. So. Mm -hmm. You can sneak through the remaining security system at the back, but these extra five people see you go in there. And will likely They'll follow. They can follow us, but at least we'll be able to do it on better turf and maybe try and help uh, Steve out. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's try that. Okay. So... Been a bit of time. Uh, Steve, take one off your speed. Jesus. I think that puts you on zero, doesn't it? It does. What does that do? So you are now impaired. Oh, no. Great. <laughs> Anything you try is one step harder. God. And you're still bleeding out. Okay. So you're out the back. You got people chasing you. What, what are you doing? What is around us in our general area now? You could... So there's like black cabs that are going by, you could try to hail one of those. Well, we've got a body with us. <laughs> <laughs> there... If we just run to civilization in general, is there any like... Can we see a police station or anything like that? You're not near police. Um, can we see even like a hotel or any... I mean, you can go back to the B&B if you want. <laughs> um, yes, we should. It's being raided by the police. That'll, that'll be safe. Will it? I have a dead. You have like a knocked out body with you. Yeah, have a knocked out body. They attacked us. We we'll can go back to Jim and Jones's. Shed some light and help us interrogate this. <laughs> Are there any arcades nearby or gaming facilities? 
No. Damn it. <laughs> could have got more cultist. No, could have got more entourage. <laughs> uh, okay. We could get a black cap and we could go back to our uh, base. They won't know what, how to follow us back there unless they just say, follow that cab, which I've always, always wanted to do. <laughs> but then I'd probably have to leave the body. Does anyone have a bag or something we could put the body into? So as, as you were talking for so long, these five people <laughs> reach you. God, no! Oh, God. And you can clearly see that they're, they're police. Oh, oh, okay. And with them is Detective Inspector Chambers. Excellent. So, how do you play this out, Philip, or uh, anyone else? I well, I put my hands up. My I gesture to my friends to put, put their hands up too. I put and my I, hands up. I drop the body. I oh. say I didn't want to be involved in this. <laughs> So, you're putting yours up as well, yes, Steve? Um, yeah. <laughs> like, so Alice wanna... starts. Wait, wait. Alice starts crying and starts talking about how her friends were killed just now <laughs> by the crazy cultists. Um, roll me. Intellect. D20. Sobbing in the corner. Tell me how. What, what you say to him as you're sobbing? I say. Those crazy cultists. They wiped out all of my friends and stole my headphones. And they've been following us for miles, and I don't know why. And we were just trying to escape. And my entourage was just trying to escape when this happened, and I wanted them to get home safely. But they cold-bloodedly killed them. Okay, and we were so scared more people were coming after us. Detective so Inspector uh, Chambers believes your sob story. And he tells you that your entourage are safe. They are very beaten oh, yeah. up, but they are alive. Yay! <laughs> um, he asks why you have a body. I, I don't. That's on him. I don't know. Yeah, live person. It's one of the cultists that um, Alice mentioned. Um, I thought we could take him away and interrogate him, and perhaps we could abuse him one of your cells for that uh, right purpose, Chambers. What kind of information were you looking to get from him? Um, information about why he was trying to kill us, because they said they were coming for us, and they even identified us by name, so we want to know how they got that information and why they would want to attack us. Roll deception. What? It's only deception. He believes your story. That's a true story! <laughs> <laughs> it's just the whole truth, but it's... But because you go back, he tells you that he knows of the cultists because they are invest well we've been investigating them and are trying to find their hideout for many many months now <laughs> they're a cult dedicated to pretty much cutting off people's connection to the uh. and then he acknowledges that this cultist actually is part of it and finds it a bit weird yeah <clears throat> but generally people that are in a part of this cult are dodos, they can't actually enter. Uh. And those that do have the ability to enter just give up. Like, they won't ever do it. Mm. So. <laughs> oh, he's so Blinded. <laughs> Can I ask him if he's got any uh, first aid or something to stop my bleeding? Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he hands you like some bandages. 
and like an injection of some kind. <laughs> it's an injection of some kind. <laughs> you, you know this is like it's a medical. You know this is like <laughs> a medical. <laughs> like this is medical technology. Like it, it's he has like, like a loose syringe in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's fluid in this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just written like ibuprofen, like you know it's fine. <laughs> so does does that just stops the bleeding? Or... Yeah, it, it stops the bleeding, like heals it a bit, and the bandages just to cover it up. Okay. So you're you're not bleeding anymore. Um, but I'm still on zero speed, right? You can put your speed back to one. Okay. So. No. You want him to? Do you want the police to interrogate? No, I want us to interrogate him. But I want to ask Chambers. Um, Chambers, can we go back to the police station with you? Could you give us a ride? Can we rest in the police station, and then could you let us use a cell to interrogate this cultist? It's not really protocol for. Civilians. Well, you know, it wasn't protocol when you, you know... When he just cuts you off, he just us. cuts you off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what, it's, it's okay, come back, come back with us. <laughs> so, you all go back to the, like, police van. Just drive, you ride back. Nothing happened on the way back, really. You make your way there. Book, like, you will get, well, you, you don't get booked in, but... The, Cultist gets booked in. What happened to my entourage? They're at Where hospital. Are they? Oh. They're probably at the hospital with a woman which tried to, well, like, sleep with Steve earlier. That's reasonable. Other entourage is probably there as well. Don't know where the other one is for Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Jimmy's okay. Pretty dangerous to be in your entourage, isn't it, Lang? I mean. It is when I'm with you guys, usually it's fine. Alright, so it always happens and he's not going to argue with you, he just lets you interrogate the cultist in a room. Do we, uh, can we make a recovery roll first, considering um, that he does? Yeah. Best. Excellent. So, each of you can roll a d6. We'll just press the recovery button. I don't need to recover anything. Don't worry about it then. Because everything I use has an edge. <laughs> So Dennis recovers five. Just Steve recovers one because he gets minus one to it. So you, bad, you got one point to put where you want. Dennis has five to put where he wants. Yeah, Dennis. Um. So, what are you going to do with him? Um. Are we talking sure Gitmo, or what? What's our interrogation tactics be? Um, I'm very bad at persuading people, but in general, I have a lot of success. You know, I'm... you're bad at polite persuasion. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just telling this to the my comrades. Okay. You can intimidate. But yeah. You can intimidate him. That's an option. Yeah. I wonder how we intimidate a cultist. What if we said we were going to put him in the vert? Like we got a feather and we threatened to. Yeah. Well, I have a feather. Well, I, yeah, I have a cipher feather. We could just threaten him with it. You have the, um, actually go baby Serrano. Yeah, he won't yeah, know what it Yeah, I mean, does. I'm not gonna. He don't. He doesn't know what it does, but I don't want to give it to him either. But we could threaten him with it. Put it up to his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle him with it. <laughs> so you're gonna threaten him with feather? Yeah. All right, so... Well, I mean, I'm not the one doing it, really. Philip should be doing it, but I give him a feather. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely all in for this, and I'm like, all right, you know, so you're gonna fly for this. You're gonna be in the electric chair. You're gonna be in the big sleep. You know, this is the long goodbye for you, friend. If you don't cop up what you know, and I'll throw you in the vert, and you'll never come back because people like you, they don't get out of the vert alive. So press your intimidate. I'll give you an asset to it. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh. Well, oh. to a 
those things it's like it's um, not your fault that it happened but i'm still annoyed at you <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a good plan how would hmm. literally how if you so rolled far? anything else i was gonna give it to you yeah. um I'm just gonna have like he doesn't believe you do it, and he no. is part of it. He's not afraid. Oh. Uh, that sucks. Any other plans? Um. Waterboarding is an option. I think there's some kind of like constitution or something. Um. Trying to. Can anyone like read minds or anything like that? Is there any... Nope. No, I have simple communication, but it doesn't read minds. Do you want to threaten him any other way? I can just beat the crap out of him and um, get the information from him that way. How long are you going to beat the crap out of him for? <laughs> um, let's see. Five minutes. Using your knuckles? Yeah. <clears throat> roll me. Do a mic roll. And yeah, sure. All right, he relents. All right, he, he just fucking he gives up. <laughs> After, he, he doesn't want to be beaten anymore. Just like, what do you want to know? Uh, who are you guys? Why do you attack us? Where's the blue feather? Um. That's... We have, we, we have, have the blue feather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, well, I'm still, still gonna ask it to him, so it throws him off the idea, the fact that we have them. Okay. <laughs> Just so you do actually know. <laughs> right, so it, it, it tells you he's part of the uh, cult of Globus, and is their mission to pretty much, well, as the detective told you, disrupt the connection between the real world and the vert. They don't believe it's right. And he just points at his, like, tentacles. Um... So why did you, how do you know who we were? How did you know our identities? You're asking around everybody in the Rover Fair. So you guys were at the Rover Fair? They have people everywhere. Um, when you say they, what, what level are you in this cult? Tier 2 underling. <laughs> underling, is that your formal title? You put that in your CV, is that oh in my... your LinkedIn? It's on my LinkedIn, it's on my LinkedIn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, a, what a lot of promotion prospects like her underling, you know, you get... You get Eventually you there. get to like be Grand Wizard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else should we ask him? Um... Uh, at this point, by the way, can I... Detect if he's lying about his rank. <laughs> about his rank specifically. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, I feel like he'd make something a bit more impressive up if he was <laughs> lying. <laughs> <laughs> you can detect falsehoods so you can see if he's lying. Yeah. Cool. So roll that. You suspect he is telling the truth? Okay. Um, let's see. Um, are, is there more of your group that are looking for us? They'll be looking around the apartment, the studio you left. Okay, but they're not specifically looking for the three of us. But wait, they're looking for you because you're asking questions. Okay. But what so. were we asking questions about? We just wanted to find our feather. Yeah. How dare you say your feather? It is I mean, a fucking travesty yours. upon the world. That was still ours, like even if it was still a our feather. Upon the world, like, <laughs> it would be our travesty upon the world. Well, do, do you show him a this... feather now? No, no, no. The colour's faded this... off by now. No, no, no. But we were looking for it. We didn't necessarily find it. But was this? Like, why is this feather so important? Everyone takes feathers. It's said to be the best experience. 
What if it's such a good experience? Why don't you like it? Not real. It You're corrupts not real. this world. <laughs> so, like, your whole worldview doesn't make sense, man. Like, you know. yeah, nothing makes sense. What if we? You know, you're gonna be done. You're probably gonna be put in prison for what you've done. You know, like you beat the shit out of those three people. Um, so you're gonna take the fall for that. Um, so I guess have fun there. I I will do whatever I need for Globus. For what? For who? Globus. Globus. Difficult. What's that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> and where are your headquarters? Like, where 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 do you pray to? Or cult. What do cults do? Okay. Worship, I guess. Worship. Where do you worship? <laughs> You're gonna have to roll for that. Intellect or initiative or what is it? Intellect. Or oh, mm. how are you trying to get the information? Oh fuck. Uh, intellect. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he just tells you there is no main headquarters that he is aware of as a tier 2 underling. They just meet at different locations every time. Never the same place. Um, you can ask him, does he have any leads about where the Pathfinder is? He, yeah. thought, he thought the Pathfinder was there. Hmm. Why did you think the Pathfinder was there? That's his loft. Why didn't you go where... there before? I only just found out. How did you find it out? As you are asking that question, you realise that the map is no longer on your person. Ah, uh, that fucker. Uh, Wait, you must have dropped it when you jumped out the window. Um, either way, it's not that important anymore because we found that off the place. Um, okay, I guess we don't really have so They must have found it by following us, by finding that map. Yeah. 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 Maybe okay, there's so corruption maybe. in the police. Ooh, yeah, well, maybe there's there corruption in the police. <laughs> maybe. Informant Moss, because he was the only one there when we jumped out. He's the only one who saw it! Mm. Informant Morse, we need to go interrogate him. He might be no. part of the cult. I don't think the chambers will allow us to interrogate. Well, we could just go chat to your friend, Mr. Morse. Yes. Oh, you, you, you can lure, lure him out. He's, he seems very fond of you. Yeah. Okay. What we'll do first is... Uh, so we're going to lead this guy. I think we can't get anything more out of him. But let's search him first, just in case he has anything valuable or anything that might indicate the way to us. That's great. Um, you find a pamphlet that just, like, has scribbled on it, fuck for that. <laughs> and it has like it just says Globus in like bold text at the top. Um, I, I just show it to him. Like, did you do this? This <laughs> is handed out to all members. What? But it's like scrawled on it. Like, what? If it's is, handed is it... out to all members, we can take yeah. one because then we can use it next time if we go to a meeting. Well, we're gonna keep this man, and then I punch him one last time. <laughs> He's unconscious. <laughs> what do you want to write down? But you have that note, man. Uh, oh, yeah. I probably I'll... shouldn't take it because I feel like I'll be recognised in a lot of places. I guess I'll uh, say that I have to know. Bobus note. Bobus. Yep. You can use it as ID, I suppose. So, do we want to end it here? Uh, are we at a good point, or? Yeah. Unless you want to do more, hmm. it's up to. Why are we ending it here? I mean, if, if we assuming we're uh, we are at some point playing, we're not just literally ending it. Yeah, here. we'll we'll do, we'll do it again at some point. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Oh, so, that was very fun. Yeah, it was. Let's do round up at the end then. So, Tegan, promo yourself. Hi. Okay, I'm Tegan. I stream Monday to Thursday and sometimes Fridays, but I never wake up on Friday. 
um, over at twitch.tv slash tgank, and you can follow me on Twitter at tgank underscore, and on, oh, actually that's it really, there's just Twitter and Twitch, I don't really use a lot else. Um, I stream a variety of stuff, Here's a Storm, Minecraft, Mass Effect mainly at the moment, and a few other stuff. Um, yeah, I'll probably be streaming after this in a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Okay. Mr. Bear. Hello, Carly Bear here. First time playing some RPG games and I loved it. Thanks to thank you guys. Uh, uh, I told you I'd make your first time fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Twitch.tv, Carlo Best, and you stream random ass games. Such as? Such as Escape from Tarkov and PUBG, mostly. Okay, and Dennis, shout out. Um, I'm Dennis, I don't actually stream. Um, hey. You see me here. What? Are we done? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can talk more. <laughs> no, I'm I'm... I've put your Twitter uh, in the uh, chat. Yeah, the anyone wants to follow? Is if we, if we do this again, which I hope we do, because it's super fun, and um, I don't want to just leave it on a massive cliffhanger. I want to find out on Spectrum Morse notes. Sorry, Informant Morse. Informant Morse. <laughs> Informant Morse. <laughs> Alright, so if there's nothing else, or if anyone wants to say anything about what they thought, etc. I'll wait until you leave to bitch and whine about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. No, I had a good time.